How you guys doing? This is Hybrid Steel. Welcome to Volcalidus. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did sell that right. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm. Just, for some reason, it's still not quite like digging into my brain. I still don't know why, but we'll get there. It's all right. We're good. Anyways, today on this exciting episode of Diggy Diggy Hole, we're gonna um Diggy Diggy Hole. That, that's ba that's basically where we're going. I can't, there's nothing else I can really say. That's that's basically it. <laughs> we're Diggy Diggy Hole. It's fine. Everyone loves Diggy Diggy Hole. Depending on what context you put in. I mean, if you're getting into some trouble, it's probably not the best idea. Anyways, so, the fa the only thing I did to this build yet, like today, and I said I was going to do this, was I was going to lay the floor. So I laid the floor. I literally went down to the other end of the island, picked up a load of flooring, and put it down. And that's basically all I've done. So it looks a bit nicer. It's more presentable. And generally not too white. And there's People think it's too racist to have too much white on the screen, so I decided to put some grey on it as well. We're all good. Barry, how you doing, buddy? Thank you very much for kicking by. Anyways, so today is more we just need to sort of evolve the build and basically start building up, which is where we need to go. I've got some spare bits and pieces. I've got some all this and that, and we're all right. So, what the hell was I doing? Yeah. <laughs> hey, oi, oi, how you doing? So I did put some stairs in as well, which is just it just means I don't have to like jump up and down on the Minecraft stairs. We'll be all good. At one point, I will want I want to do what I did with the old mine on. Um, uh, thingamajig it on uh, the original base game. I want to put lights behind here and stuff I just I want to faff around and actually make it look a bit more presentable Like I said this build is something that I want to build out so it actually looks like a proper sort of like actual working machine So it's gonna take some time. It's a lot more just like filling around with like hundreds of pieces of like Bits of wood and crap basically and every floor that I want to go down to involves me having to like build it out and make it look nice So where we are right now, this is like tier one Yes, but when I want to go down to like tier two the, I'm gonna turn this into a platform So it actually looks like it's actually part of the staircase going down and we should be all right. So on that note We need stuff the reason why we need stuff is because I'm basically out of stuff. I'm out of iron, I'm out of everything, and I need money so we can do stuff. I don't think I've got a lot left in the back of my truck. Yeah, no, that's the, that's the plan. Is I have fun. Yeah, I've got three and a half grand. Okay, cool. I wonder how much my gold's worth. Hey, how much are you worth, gold? You are worth 12,000. You know what? That's not bad. But I do need materials. So, I, you know, how much have we got left on here? Oh, yeah, I need iron because we... I, oh, was that the iron one? That is iron, that's okay. Oh, that's gold. So, I need I need to get my build running because we need, um, we need iron because we do, didn't quite get enough for the up the shop yesterday, did we? Yeah, that'll cause a problem. Right, let's um, reconnect to this. You know what, I mean, my valve is really in the wrong place. Right, open. Should be okay. Alright, let me just poddle down here, turn this back on, because that's how we turn this off. And now my drill's working. So yeah, I need like 50 iron, which is going to suck. You know, at the end of the day, we'll get there, but it's just a pain in the butt that I literally need just 50 iron. So that needs to run for a bit, we're all good. Anyways, so if you've got any questions and all the other crap that comes with this game, and anything else to do with the channel, let me know. I'm here for a couple hours at least. I'm probably going to be here to about 11, so I've got like... Three, four hours to go. We're all right, and then I'm back to get. I'm back tomorrow as well, because I'm doing a whole weekend of Hydrania. Because you know, I mean, the update's out. We're going to enjoy this together. It's fun. It's all laughs. It's all good. But I do need to get older some more piping because, like, we're going to go down. Like, down, 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 down. We got tokens. We're all right. We're fine. Iron. We got iron. Yes. Bit in the water, we're all good. Anyways, so yeah, all I've got to do now is literally just wait. We need 50 iron, and I can open up shop. What, I, what shop was I opening up yesterday? I can't remember. I don't know. And I, I have come to a conclusion: watching other YouTubers when they're live streaming. No offense to D Diesel, but it's quite infuriating. <laughs> Is there a reason to forge your own tools? Yeah, because you could well, basically the tool you're going to get to start with, I'll show you, comes with those awesome red skulls, which basically means it's a defect tool. Now, if you reforge your own tools, they come down as basic, so they're actually a little bit faster. 
and then if you if you put a um, an actual forge mark into it, which comes out of a buff stone, the forge mark can improve your tools, so you can forge better tools for the job. There's even a trophy for getting a three-star tool or a piece of equipment. So there's a reason for it, definitely. But yeah, it's, it's something I want to do. So as soon as we've got, as soon as I've unlocked the stores and done things properly. I do want to get my own like pickaxe and my own bits and pieces and then get rid of all the crappy stuff because the defunct Red Skull stuff sucks balls. If I'm going to be brutally honest, it's too slow, it's not good enough. You need something faster, you need something that does a bit more like, well, more damage. Because as you can see on this, it's like the speed bonus is down and the dig size is down. So it means you're digging really small holes. Now, I have got a, re I have got a um, video coming out where basically shows the plus sides to actually using the buff stones and the forge marks. So you've just got to, unfortunately, you can wait for that. So, or we might be able to do some of that today. It's depending on if I can get what I need out of this build right now, basically. That should be 50. How much? 70. Fantastic. Let's go. I'm going to leave this running because it ain't going to run out too soon. Let's go and finish off this door. And then we can um, be happy. What's a what's a tool stone and where do I find them? Okay, so a tool stone, it's called a forge mark, and the forge marks are inside the buff stones. Buff stones are like these giant purple bits of ice just laying in the floor with a giant hook on the top. The problem with those like hooks on the top is that they tend you can't pick them up. You actually need the hauler, which means you do need to go and get yourself a hauler. You need to go and you need to go to Mott's Island, which means you need to build the ticket store and everything comes back to doing something else before you can do something that you want to do. Have fun with progression on this game. I, I will say that the progression in it is slightly tedious because you are having to be like, oh, I've got to do this one thing before I can do all of this. Right, I get it now. How is the DLC? The map's like, the map's good. I like it personally. Yeah, it's just, it's basically, you do one thing and then it's, oh, he actually put things in it. He put, oh, you smegger. Oh, I was going to say, I've lost all my stuff, but it just doesn't count. Right, stick that in there, stick that in there, stick that in there, stick that in there. We're all good. Yay, push the button. Cool. So I feel I built the tier two store. Yes, because we need the better drill, because we need the better drill, because I need to make more money. And in order to make more money, I need prizes. That's what we need. It's going to be fun. So, this is 430 tokens. I also need this, which is a defunct bloody shovel, which sucks balls. But I'm not upgrading my equipment until I get to, like, tier, tier 3. Anyway, how are you doing? 30 day reviews. Welcome. I do need to buy it all, though. And these are the heavy drills. These are the things we do, we're do. we going to have to be getting, like, next. But they are fairly expensive if you haven't got a lot of money. So, fun. Right, I do need that. Actually, you know what? I need this more than I need that. I don't need this right now. We're all good. Actually, no, no, we should be okay. That's fine. Right, I need my tokens. Right, cool. In it, bruv. So I need my tokens that we got from doing the dinosaur bones. I am that awesome. Cool. And we got ourselves a drill that is one star speed bonus and one star output size, which basically means even digging at tier one, these things work a lot better, which means the size of the stuff is going to be coming out better. It means I'm going to be making a bit more money. Downside, I've got to dig with crappy tools until I can start making my own stuff. But I'm not even going to worry about that until I get to tier 3. Because once you get tier 3 tools, you just basically work. And it's all good. So tier 3, I do need to buy it. And it's going to go right there. So what I need to do is I need to go and buy the store quickly. Which is up nya. I think I've got enough. Because I think it's only like 2.5 grand. And I've got 3 on me. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I know. You noob. 2,400 Ujima Flippies. You have Moonface. Thank you very much for becoming a hybrid steel mosh pit crew. Yeah. There we go. Anyways. I can't do a proper mosh pit. I'm in a little corner in the living room. Just bear with me. <laughs> I just have to win me my way to victory. <laughs> right. So this is the next big test thing. I think we need something stupid like... I think it's something stupid like 3,000 hardstone. So I'm going to have to fiddle around with the thing at the back at the base. And we'll, we'll go from there. It's fine. Thanks so much for the intro video for the new DLC. Not a problem. Thank you very much for watching it. 
All right, so we need 5,000. And core stone we can only get when we get down to tier 2. Now, thankfully, these drills are, like, kind of awesome, so we can't move it down. Oh, bums, is what I have to say. Okay, cool. Right. Okay, we got to move. So 5,400 hardstone. Let me just... I need to get back, change the thingy, midget, and we're all good. Uh, so still chained up after one drill bite. Yes, so you have to forge your own drills. That's basically what you're, you're... You're given the blueprint to do that yourself. It's not difficult. And the, um, the, the bug we found that someone found in my chat yesterday, it has now been patched, so that doesn't exist anymore. I love how fast Max works on, like, getting this game fixed. Because he knows that someone's going to break it. And chances are, testers never find anything. We never find everything. It's just one of those things. Thank you very much for subscribing. I have... I don't know. The problem is, is YouTube's not telling me who's subscribing. Bloody dildo bikes. I did some testing with Hydronia and what I see with which one's better, uh, keyboard and mouse and controller, and I feel like controller is 5% better than keyboard. No, 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 keyboard's better. Keyboard is much, much better for, like, Hydronia. It's just the way it is. Just have to accept it. It's just better. <coughs> I know, I'm being elitist. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Is there one in every tier shop? Yeah, so there's a drill in every tier shop, right? And when you finish getting your freebie drills, the game basically shoves its middle finger at you and just says, go get them yourself. And that's literally your cue to get better at the game scrub. And that's just how it is. Unfortunately, we all have to live with that fact and we've just got to get better at the game. So that's what we're doing. We're getting better at the game. We're learning day by day. Don't worry about it. All you have to do is play the game, be happy and enjoy it. And just genuinely just have fun. That's all you got to do. Have fun and learn all the bits and pieces and you'll be right as rain. You will. It'll all make sense. And if it doesn't make sense, you'll have an aneurysm. And then it'll make sense. Maybe. You just have to hope. <laughs> you just have to hope, man. It might get better. Right. Let me just get a spare conveyor belt, because I have got a spare, thankfully. If I hadn't got a spare, I'd be in trouble right now. Like, right, okay, I'm screwed. Alright, funky dokey. We are done for about six hours now. So, I'm going to leave these running. So there, there you go, look, bigger pieces, awesome. And this is going to be tier two, so I need to dig down. Now, thankfully, because I'm not so much of a dimwit, even though I claim to be, which I've got to be honest, sometimes it's true, I have got to use my tier two stuff to get down lower. So we're getting deep today. We're going to go straight down to tier two, work this out, get my, uh, get, I've got to buy another load of conveyor belts and stuff, but by the time I get around to getting the conveyor belts, we will be a rich man because it takes a little bit of time to get down there which sucks so I actually need to start drilling like digging here so that'll be fun um, so that's gonna be my first vertical so literally this is gonna be my first step yeah cool it's all fun and games in the hood of life So we are going down, 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 da 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 down. All right. It's going to take some time. I just need to build another double, a double width, like, space of stairs. And then we'll be fine. And I need to build a little room down the bottom, and we can start building out there. That's all I need to do. I didn't need to do that, though. down right I think it may have taken off too much snow out of one step which sucks oh no that's actual that's natural step so we're fine there cool That, that horrible, like, droning noise that you can hear is literally my drills, like, burrowing next to my head. 
Same fighting with the hand sorter and go by the first part. Yeah, the hand sorter is all good. I like the hand sorter in this one. It actually works better, which is quite nice. Uh, yeah. How you doing, uh, Blowy? Welcome. Right. Let's just keep digging, shall we? Need to get down to tier two. Need to mount my drills down there. Get it, get it deep, get it deep, deep, deep. Howdy, hybrid. How's it going? Bundle man, and welcome. I'm doing good. Let's straighten that up. We're fine, don't worry. Eh. Going down to the bottom of tier two. Na 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 na. Oh yeah, I completely agree. The, like the game has got like a certain ASMR to it, where it's just like it's a bit. For me, it's relaxing. Like having the having the actual game audio in the background as well, instead of like getting away from that, actually works quite nicely for me. Instead of just listening to the like what I normally listen to. Normally it's lo-fi music, but the game actually has lo-fi music, and because I haven't played like a thousand hours of the DLC, the music doesn't piss me off yet. It's good. Because it does get to a point, if you play this game for long enough, you are sitting there just going, I've got to question my own sanity right now, because things just don't make sense, right? So you're always, you're always like, oh, do I really want to do this anymore? Do I want to play it? Do I want to listen to this music anymore? I mean, to be fair, most of the time I play this, I am sitting again. I wouldn't mind putting on a bit of Slayer, but I'm not allowed, because I've got DMCA'd for that. So It's a bit of a shame. Yeah. It's just one of those shames of life. Shame! Someone rings a bell. Oh, we are there. Well, that's tier two. That's amazing. Oh. Excellent. That's the end of tier two. We are there. This means I've got to build a cave. And I've got to build another staircase up the side as well. Yay me. All right, let's get me pickaxe. Gnawing a couple of stairs. So that... This is going to be a vertical, so that pipe is literally going to come down and just go straight into that floor. And I've got to put in a um, a lava pipe in there as well, so that's going to be even more fun. Oh, why do I do this to myself? Because I want to. Because I want to. So I lowered outside my front door the cars, man. Well, uh, that's what happens when you live next to a road. No, it sounds like I'm pointing out the obvious, but it is pretty obvious. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a long day. It's been a long day. <laughs> I just got back from a kid's birthday party. Yeah, I had an adult conversation with one of my like parenty friends, which is quite all right. But apart from that. Well, I'll say that. It's, it's a conversation with an adult that doesn't scream in my face here. Yeah. <laughs> Which is always a plus side. Hybrid still is evil. Uh, yeah, I, I have got a bit of an evil streak in me. I'm sorry. It's just the way I am. I was well built, man. But don't go spreading that around. People start believing it. So less than 24 hours and you're already going to floor two and building it. Yeah, yeah, it takes about, well, for me it's what, seven hours live stream that we've done? We've done about, yeah, we've done about seven hours and we're going to tier two already. All I need now is literally core stone and I can't get core stone until I'm in tier two. So that's why we're doing this. So yeah, it's all fun.
Don't forget, if you are enjoying the streams and all the stuff I'm putting out content-wise and all the crap that I'm like talking about, hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below. We're nearly, nearly at 20,000 subscribers. We are about 300 and something off, which is like... I, I've been I've been aiming for 20,000 subscribers for about three years, so if I finally get there, it's, it's most appreciated. Thank you very much for all the support, but it's like, yeah, we're going to first slowly, slowly, surely. Right, I need to go and buy a load of corner pipes if I haven't got any already. Yeah. I need to drag one of my sleds down here. So, I need a sled. Alright, smash that light button. Yeah, smash it hard! So I need to grab this. Actually, how much I don't think I've got a lot of money left. I might have enough for pipes, because pipes are actually quite cheap in this. Which is quite handy. Did I bring my I did bring my money back with me, that's fine. That means we've got stuff. We got stuff. We're alright. How did you get the belts? How do you get the how do you get the bolts in Valkylidus? Val Val um, yeah, that's one. Um, basically, you go to a belt shop. There's one in um, in the, uh, the Shattered Outpost, and there's one in Burville. And actually, I'm going over to there now, so you'll actually get to see it. So I just needed to drop a few things off. Oh no, crap! Oh, hold on. I need to change my thingy on my um, hardstone. This needs to be 5,000. Um, if we go for 6k, we'll be okay. Oh, no, not that one. I think it's only 5,800 I need, but I, I, if I do 6,000, we'll be fine. And if I take this... There's literally two shops in this game that sells conveyor belts. One's in the Shattered Outpost, which is, um, let me just put, let me just grab the map, it's here. Shattered Outpost is down here. They sell conveyor belts there, and they sell conveyor belts where the exclamation mark is, right there. Yep, uh, I'm going there now, so you will see it, don't worry. I just wish this game was on Xbox so I could play it. Well, unfortunately, it's never ever going to come out for console. So my advice, and I know this is going to be sounding... It's going to sound a bit posh, but you can build a PC right as of now, because Linus has just... Linus did it. $500 PC, which is about the same equivalence as buying a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox, whatever the fuck it up to right now. And it will run as good as a, as a console. And it's like it's $500. So, this is sort of why I moved over to PC gaming predominantly, because I can play a lot more games on a PC than I can on a console, and they don't rip me off. And so I'm more happy. Um, I still got my console. I mean, it, it sits next to me. But what do I play? I play Rocket League, I play Grand Theft Auto, I play 2K21 Golf, and literally just, like, bits and pieces. The South African tax man says no. Well... Unfortunately, they do still work out cheaper than consoles. In in if you buy a cheaper one, but the five hundred dollar PC was all second hand parts. Well, most of them were second hand parts, and it all still worked. Buy a Steam Deck, yeah. Most of those run. Most of those run this game as well. You might still get a funny couple of bit of problems here and there, but that's just because they're still not as. I still, I'd say they're probably not as widespread as um, normal PC. But I'm not being elitist because I've been on console most of my entire life. But like up until like I would say the last sort of like ten years, I'm sitting there just going, you you can honestly do a lot more with a PC than you can with a console. Consoles are good for like if you're coming home from work and like I've had a hard day, fuck it, I just want to sit down and play games, and they're fine. But I mean PCs are like there's a lot more sort of I don't know there's a lot more general everything you can do with it, you know. You assume that a five hundred you five hundred pound payment bills and says no. Well, I mean the thing is, is you bought an Xbox, so at some point you had enough money to buy a console, and that that's how I see myself as well. I had enough money to buy that. I mean I'm poor, but I saved up for a Peter for my PS Five, and I mean I gotta be honest, I sort of, I just wish that my brothers would turn around and say yeah sure we'll buy a mini PC because then I don't have to buy a console ever again. I find it a little bit annoying that I have to how I, I have to have a console around because of my because of my brothers and people I talk to because they don't have PCs and I mean even if they bought an Xbox I'd be happier because if they had an Xbox I could still talk to them 
because my the Xbox has an Xbox app and I could run that and I'd be fine. What are my specs? Uh, Ryzen 3700X, a, a 32 gig of Corsair 3200 uh, RAM and a 2060 Super Graphics card. The motherboard and everything else you don't really need to care about as long as it basically fits your CPU. Everything else is, I mean, it's just a standard machine. I, nowadays that PC is literally as good as a console, so it does need updating, but at the moment it's sort of working, but I need to update it because I've basically rinsed the crap out of it for the last li nearly four years, and it's getting a bit old. Hey, I was wondering about the lava. Did I understand correctly that if you just ha let the l lava pipes drip, you will run out? You'll never run out of lava. You'll also melt through into the bedrock. So, no. Um, the lava will melt down to through tier 1. That's it. If you want to upgrade your lava capabilities, there is no way. You can get the Thor tank. That'll do it. Um, I got a Series S for $146, so I didn't spend much on it. Yeah, I know, but the problem... So, this is the thing, though. You bought a console, and then you wonder why half the games don't go on the console. It's because most developers that play like make this sort of game don't make games for P, uh, for consoles. They make them for PC because it's cheaper distribution. It's, it's basically, they don't have to pay out as much money. And with the amount of money that Steam don't charge you to like put your game out for like cheaper, it's so much easier for them to distribute easier on Steam. So it comes down to cost effectiveness when it comes to being an indie developer. That, that's the reason why they do it. PC is easy to code, yeah, which is why a lot of them turn to PC. There's not so many, there's not so many like pisses about. It's just one of those things, and if you don't want a PC, don't get a PC, but unfortunately when it comes to indie games like this, they'll never they'll never really go over to console, just because it's just harder for them, and it's a lot more smegging around. I mean, Gold Rush is an ideal like example of this. It was easier for them to add multiplayer than to put it onto console, but they put it onto console because the community wanted it on console, but then after that it never got updated properly. So... It does leave it a little bit in the in the blind and death, you know. So yeah, it's just it's one of those things. You just have to you you choose the grave you lie in. And for me, I'm fortunate enough to have both. But it's not like I haven't put the work in. And most of this money that I've had I saved up for months and months and months and months. I'm a full time carer. I don't get a lot of money. So when it comes to saving up for a console, that was like six seven months worth of me putting a couple of quid aside just to try and get one and when it comes to the pc i got fortunate you know i got lucky it, you know, everyone's lucky and if I, i'm saving up for one now it's literally going to take me until the end of the year to get my next pc because i'm saving up you don't need a, a 2000 p yeah you don't need a 2000 pound pc i mean like i said linus built a pc for 500 canadian dollars or, I don't know if it was Canadian or US dollar, but it was a PC that could run most titles in 1080p at 60 FPS. And it was just a basic computer. Like, it's it's some of its older tech, but it still works. The only thing the only thing you've really got to worry about is, like, the overworking on the graphics card. There are people out there who are selling crappy console, like, crappy graphics cards. They've been mined out, you know, they've, they've been, they've had a hard life. Or you get people like myself who are just like, well, it doesn't matter about the graphics card. I'll just chuck it on eBay. It's fine. The, that's the sort of thing you've got to worry about. But there are sort of like cheaper versions of graphics cards now. Even like the 4050, it may not be like the greatest graphics card in the world. But for the price, it's pretty damn good. A 3060 Ti 12 gig card, if you can get one, like I did. I was fortunate. You can get it for 285 to 300 quid. And most of the cost of the PC is the graphics card. It's not like the processor or the motherboard or anything else. It's literally the graphics card. And the graphics card's a pain in the ass. I, I, you know, it's just, I don't like it. It's, it's annoying that they're so expensive. But they are like the main section of the thing you need out of everything. Where am I? Oh, crap, I'm right up against the wall. Okay, cool, we need to go that way. Right, so I need to bend conveyor belts this way and build that way. Because we're against the wall. I didn't realise I was that close. Uh, 
A 1050 Ti will run this one, no bother. Yeah, I mean, the, the cheaper the graphics cards. I mean, the 1080s are fine. The 16s, the 1660s are fine. And they're like 150 quid. Even a brand new one. You can still get them brand new. There are still, like, surplus supply. But it's like, I know people are, like, they all suffer from FOMO. Oh, you need to have this graphics card. You need to have this. And you need to have that. You don't. You just need to have things that work. You know, I mean, even if you just go down Intel Arc. Okay, not the greatest of graphics cards. But they work. And they're not massively expensive compared to, like, the NVIDIA 4000 series, which is, in fairness, fucking overpriced, and it's it's just stupid. I don't know who NVIDIA's customer base is, like, supposed to be, but whoever it is has got too much money for their own good. You know, even Linus talks about this. Well, he he The reason why he works the way he does, and he, he sort of advertises the parts he does is because he's been that poor before. He's had really shitty PCs and really crappy tech. But it's all about repurposing what does work. My first computer that I had when we were here was a Ryzen 3300G. So it didn't have a graphics card. And it would barely run any game. So I bought a little 1030... A 10, it, was either, it was a little 1030 graphics card for like 60 quid off of eBay. It would have run this game. So you can get them. They are there. Just don't go on to fucking wish.com or any like crappy Chinese website and decide you want to buy a graphics card from there. You won't get what you pay for. Didn't NVIDIA just give up on gaming cards? Oh no, NVIDIA, they're making like the 40 series where they're just powering out too much. They, they're, they're, their marketing is how much money can we make from stupid people now? That's literally their marketing. You're better off buying AMD. Like right, Radeon's graphics cards are pretty damn sweet. Um, they're working just fine and they're a cheaper budget and I know it sounds weird but Intel the Arc series are pretty alright you know as I said they, they work can't really go a bit further than that <laughs> will it run now version 1.0 it would run well yeah it probably would I got a new 1080 for 50 quid exactly so there is deals out there you can have Razer over on Twitch a boom first message How's it going to say hybrid? So you're taking, a, you're talking about computers. I talk about computers sometimes when it all, when it comes up as like topic. The thing that I get is like for my next PC, I'm saving up. Like I, I'm saving around sort of like a hundred, a hundred and fifty pound a month to just basically bring up my balance, so I'm able to like buy a new computer. I'm not taking. I don't want to take out finance. I literally want to be able to buy buy this whole thing outright and not have to go down that whole like. Um, the whole like debt thing you know where did one buy stairs uh there's a furn there's a building shop in shattered outpost next door to the conveyor belt shop have fun but yeah that's just how i am i i'm literally looking for the things that i can afford and i'm gonna try and get it as much as i can as cheap as i can but at the same time buy or build a computer that can handle the load I put it under for at least like four years. That's all it is. I don't. I'm not going to be. I'm not a PC snob by any chance. Cause if I was a PC snob, I'd be like, oh well, I've got myself a 4090. Yes, I, I am one of those people. I, I can afford it. <laughs> I, I would be an arsehole. Um, and I don't like that mentality. So I'm more than happy if I have to buy a cheaper thing, which I already have. Like, I've already bought the graphics card for my next computer. It cost me 285 quid, and that was in CEX vouchers. Because it was basically a brand new card, but for £285. It's never been used. Like, it came with a box. I was like, this is stupid. So whoever sold it, isn't it? Well, they just basically upgraded for no reason. And it comes with, like, their thousand-year warranty, so I'm not really complaining. May ask if there are some of the bones on the island where you need a ticket for. No, there's no bones over there. All the bones are on the mainland. Oh, just let me jump over the hole again, would you? Thank you. <laughs> right, so this is where I want to put my drills. Yeah. I mean, my graphics card comes from CX. There was no way I was spending 350 quid on it when I could get it to 285, and it looks brand new. 
Like, there's no wear on it at all. I've I've gone through the card. There's no dust in the vents. It's all if if it, if it was used, it's whoever used it literally took it out of the box, looked at it, and just went, "Oh, I've got myself a forty card." You know that that's what it feels like. It, the, the card is that new. Even the bearings on the fans, are, they're st they're stiff still, so they 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 are brand new. Uh, are you on tier two on tier three? Uh, so no, this is tier two. This is like base tier two. So we're here already. I just need to make the roof a bit higher, and then we need to bring some conveyor belts down, which means I need to buy conveyor belts, which means I need to buy them. So I need to make this area a little bit wider, because this uh, the lava pipe is going to come under this set of stairs under here and actually follow under this pipe. So I need to extend this up a bit, which is going to suck. Maybe. We'll just see how things go. But we are right up against the wall. Also, there's no harm in buying like generation before the like the new stuff. If anything, it's actually easier to get hold of the new like the older stuff because no one wants it anymore. Everyone's like, "Oh, well, I don't really need that anymore because I've got myself a a 4090 card." Okay, cool. I'll take your whatever card it was, and you can play with the thing that's going to cause a few more problems with your builds and having to like spend out more money on trying to keep it cooler and trying to do this and trying to do that. So, nope, I'm good. I'm more than happy to just have basics. You don't need a massive build. You don't need anything horrible. You just build your PC and be happy. Right, actually, how close was I that to that wall? I can't remember now. Right, let me just... Um, The 3060 12 gig is a beast of a card for that price. Exactly. Always shop around. And I know, you've just got to check the quality. I mean, if you're going to buy something from CEX, go to the shop and actually look on their stuff. Because if you go to the shop and you say you want to look at it, they will take it out of the display case for you. They will look. At, they will make sure you're happy with it first. If it looks like it's been like ruined, don't buy it. It is that simple. So... Uh, what is the color texture change of tier one and two? Uh, okay, cool. So let me just go up here. You'll see it. Uh, eh, eh. Tier one, it's like a bright whitey thingy color. As you go down, this is the top of tier three, so it's purple. So when when you actually do like a cross um, open, like a cross platform of it, so you can actually like cut it out and look at it, you're like, oh wow, okay, cool. I can actually show you that. Um, yeah, I can actually. Uh, let me just save quick. And I will show you. I'll show you the difference between tier 1 and tier 3, okay? Uh, Midnight Madness, how you doing, Charlie? What do you use the stream for both twi uh, Twitch and YouTube? I use uh, a multi... It's called a multi-platform RTMP thingamajig output. Multiple output thing for OBS. It's basically a plugin, and you go from there. So let me go into... I think it's Test Vol. I think this is the one. And we're, uh, I can show you the difference between thingy. Yeah, everything I do is in OBS. Oh, no, it's not this one. Bums. Um, it's my other save. And I think I don't know if I've got it anymore. I did have it today, but I think I deleted it, which sucks. If I did, then I, it's my fault. Um, I'm just looking for one called Test. Test Backup. Oh, there is a Test Backup. Yes, that's the one I need. You'll see the tier system. And you'll see the whole. You'll see that actually part of the re, part of the build I'm going for as well. Oh no, I'm over here as well. Oh, all right. I want a Ryzen 5 5600 with an RTX 5600. That's pretty. Yeah, that's okay. That's a decent. That's a half decent like start a build. Go for it. Build it. Be happy. 5600. That's that's an alright one. Me, I, I'm. I want to go into AM5. Oh no, it's not this one because I haven't bought that. 
Oh no, it's one of these bloody saves. Oh yeah, that one was I was testing the um the dirt, wasn't I? I can't remember the one I was doing now then. Oh no, it um It might be test run. Now I've I've basically labeled it all too much like test this and test that and so yeah, you can see how much I've been testing. It's this one. That's the one. It's the one with the windows. Ah. Right. That's the tier system. So there's tier one, your first load of dirt. Tier two goes into like this darker, like horribleness. It, feel, it feels a bit like janky. And then tier three is purple. So yeah, this is tier three. That's tier two, and that's tier one. And then you've still got all your ore veins around as well, so yay me. This is what I'm, we're aiming for. I'm aiming for this sort of build, which is okay. Um, and this is like the next step of what I'm doing right now in, that, in the game that we're literally playing right now. So what I did was I came all, I came downstairs. So I kept, the, I kept the belt up high. I came downstairs. I set up my tier two drills along here whilst I was mining it, and then tier three, I, I went downstairs. But I know I can do it a little more, more compact, so that's why I'm taking I'm basically taking a smaller section, and then I'm going to go down to tier three. It takes a little bit more time, but it's it's easier in my head. It's easier. So anyway, back to the main menu. We need to load up my game. We need to keep digging. Is there tier two on the starter plot? No, there isn't. Tier two like starter plot is exactly the same as Ember Cradle. So if you're going to go into it, you're literally starting with like a five block deep, and then that's it. So you have to move on to do this, which is why. I don't spend too much time on the starter plots because there's no point. Uh, you got all these people like, oh, I'm going to build a big build in here. It's like, why? You can get more money out of the other. Just go. Um, so, yeah, that, that's my whole thing. You don't have to. Like, I, I play this game the way I do, and I give you advice to try and help people. But if you want to play it your way, play it your way. I'm not going to tell you you're doing it wrong. I'll advise you that you might want to do it a different way to make more money. But if you're not worried about all that stuff, then don't worry about it. It's cool. I make my videos as well, the the ways that Pirates of the Caribbean um, talk about guides. You know, the rules are there to be sort of broken, and we're just seeing it as guidelines. You know, you can you can bend the rules, you can bend the guide. It's fine. I'm a streamer that brand. I'm the streamer that Brandon was talking about. So he was telling me to use OBS somehow to be able to stream multiple. Yeah, so there's a it's basically a multiple RTMP set um, plugin that you can use for um, for your streams. That's all it is. Um, I haven't got a link on me, but if you type in uh, multiple RTMP set um, uh, thingy for OBS, you, you'll find it. It's there. Right, so that's where I want my conveyor belts. Lava are going to have to come below this. Uh, I might have to move this up one. I'm just going to suck balls. Thank you very much for... Is that subscribing? Uh, that's somebody on YouTube. It's still not coming up on YouTube. I'm really confused by it. Like, YouTube subscribe. Like, I just want it to show me who's subscribing. Moderation activity. Timestamps. What timestamps? Oh, okay. They just I, I can put timestamps on people's chat. All right. Let me just go into my settings quick. There might be something in here. Um, details. There's loads of like funny options on here now. Uh, caption certification. No. Recording date. License distribution. Allow embedding. Yes. Comments and rating. Yes. Show how many viewers are on the stream. Yes. That's fine. Customization, live reactions, yes, apparently. No redirects, I don't really care. It's there's no I'd love to be able to see this information. I can't see. Oh, okay. So the whole like so the way I do it when it comes to the chat, I use a um a bot called Bot Tricks. And basically, it takes both the chats from YouTube and Twitch and then puts it onto one screen. So you put that into a browser um, source onto your OBS and you can have the chat box over there 
that's next to each other, you know, that you can see uh, like all the chats. Um, I also read it off of um, OBS as well. Oh, I know what I haven't done. Oh no, hold on. Um, save and return to the menu. Give me like 30 seconds. We, I haven't put the little men up. I gotta put Rick and Morty up. Get, uh, we haven't done it. Stream, yeah, stream of avatars. Stream avatars. We haven't put our stream avatars up. Yeah, Botrix is the one I use. Um, you're able to bring all your chats in from things like um, if you're on Kick, you can use Kick. That sort of thing, you know. So there. Yeah, the little men. We haven't put the little men in. So if you're a member, if you're paying at least like 99 cents a month to the channel, you'll get a little avatar that walks across the bottom of the screen. And that's you. See, there's little av that little avatar running across the bottom of the screen now. That's me. Because I'm the... But I, I would prefer it to be something else, but I don't want... I'm, I, I'm okay. So if you want to become part of the Hybrid Steel community, and you want to become a member, and you want to get a little man running across the bottom of the screen, there you go. Now you can. For just 99 cents a month. You will be represented. Represent. Right, cool. <laughs> Let's get back into this. Um, tell you what, this is a little bit annoying because I know I want to go up a level, but I'm going to have to dig down to put my lava pipes under, which means I'm going to have to dig. Oh, I'm going to have to dig another step out just to go down. Or I raise. I, I, I could just raise the pipe up one. I sub to you. You came recommended by Brandon. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Most appreciate. Um. Yeah, I need to go up one. Dolgan, thank you very much. Oh, yeah. oh, bums. I know what I haven't done. Yeah, I haven't got that shit uh, that stuck onto... Um... Oh, how do you do it through Twitch as well then? Because I haven't set Twitch up on here. Steam Workshop, no. Um... General? I haven't done this, so it, it streams on... Allow multiple platforms, yes. Streaming platform, that's YouTube, that's fine. So can I set it up for you for this? Platform login. Oh. Okay, I don't need to do that. I'm going to have to learn how to set this up with Twitch as well, aren't I? Sorry about this. Name tags, import and export. Damn. Yeah, I need to set this up so it can go onto Twitch as well. Oh, that's poo. Who can spawn? Memberships, well, yeah, that's fine. Data, viewers, external panel, avatar settings, window settings. Yeah, I'm going to have to do uh, does anybody who Does anybody else use stream avatars? And if so, how do I get this hooked up to Twitch? Because there are people who pay, who pay for memberships over there. Or can you only do it through one platform? I've set mine up for Twitch. Just got to set it up for YouTube now. Okay, so you're in the same boat as me. That's awesome. That doesn't help. It says add this platform. It's just a tick box. I want to add Twitch as well. Is that both platforms or just one? Stream avatars requires authorization to connect. Ah, oh, for flip's sake. Yeah, go on then. Add author. Yeah, authorize. Cool. Bot authentication. Go on then. Bot authentication. Let's get that authorized as well. Cool. That's authorized. So. If I just connect now, is that going to have both YouTube and Twitch people? Because if it has, then it's good. Yeah, the holder is massive. What are the updates for the base game? Mainly just like quality of life fixes that think so it doesn't lag out as much anymore. It's just easier. Good evening, chat and hybrid. Thank you very much for coming on, Beaton. 
Oh, come on. Now it's taking a sweet bloody time to load. At least my game's working. I've got, like, things mowing through. It's all good. It's literally testing the platform right now. That's really annoying. Right, okay, so I actually need to put this up a level. So I'll have to faff around with this before we go down. That's going to suck. Thanks for the help earlier today, Diesel Stream. That's right, man. No problem. As long as it helps, it's all good. Are you still testing? You are still testing. That sucks. Right. So I need this to go across here. This, I'm actually going to wrap around and then join up to this. So that's going to... Yeah, we're going to have to fudge around with that. Okay. Right. Uh, right, I need to buy um, a load of belts. And then we need to start work. Well, I need to make some money first, which is going to suck. So, I need this one. Which is a good $29,000. So that's not bad. That's quite good for just like a bar of Cloudium. And I'm not really worried about Cloudium right now. I'm worried more about just making money. 72,000. That'd be enough for conveyor belts. We'll be fine. Let's go and buy some... Let's go and sell all this and go to conveyor belt land. Uh, couldn't you just put the lava pipes down below where it is? I could, but that's like a lot of digging. And I want to get this right first time so I don't have to faff around with it next time. Mainly. Basically, I'm just being a bit of a sort of like control freak over everything I need to do. Which is fine. It's my game. Yeah. Now, stream, have you... F are you still testing? How can you still be testing, you donut? Shut you down. Right. Let me just go and sell this to the jeweler. Sh should be 72 grand. Right, so I need to... Save and return to menu. Yes. I need to load up stream avatars again and do this whilst I'm not streaming. Well, whilst I'm not on something else. Sorry. I need to get this going because you guys, you guys are quite nice enough to actually like put money into the channel. So I, I owe you. We need to get stream avatars working. Right, so they would be subscribers in chat. That's good. Now, um, login details, Twitch is fine, documentation is fine. Add this platform, yes. Authenticated. Let's connect that up now. Stream avatars requires authentication to connect to YouTube avatars. Display name is empty. <sighs> you can only do one platform at a time. Unless you can... I've got to find a way of doing that. That's really annoying. Really annoying. Oh dear. Right, okay. So, for now then, if we just go YouTube and then connect. Stream avatars... Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I've got to do channel authentication on this. Yeah, I think you can only do one platform. If that's all I can do, that's going to annoy the crap out of me. I want both to be used. That's the thing. Oh. Well, okay, so YouTube works. That's a bum. That's a bum. Well, unfortunately, right now then, only members on YouTube can have their little avatar in. Until, unless I can find a way of multi-platform. I'll, I'll, I'll do a bit of research tomorrow. I'll see if I can multi-platform it. If I can, then I will. If I can't, 
then it sucks. But I want to say thank you very much for Dolgan for subscribing with his Prime membership. That's, thank you. That's most appreciated. Right, we need to set, we need to make some money. Because we need conveyor belts. I know. You can't give me any tips. I'm good. Did I leave my... Ah, oh, I left my tokens in the shop, I think. Let's go and pick up my tokens. You're looking into it now. Okay, cool. Cheers, man. Most appreciated. Because it would be pretty good. If I can get it working, I will. Or I'll get it working for the next stream. But, yeah, stream avatars right now is literally just for YouTubers. Or YouTube subscribers. Uh, yeah, subscribe. Mate. No, members. Not members. Right, so I've got my tokens. We're back. I need to go to uh, Burville and buy a load of conveyor belts. On the way, I need to pick up a sled. Why did the Hydroneer window go so small? Oh, because I haven't turned it onto the right screen. There, you go. there we go. Thank you. Um, I do forget to do things occasionally. <laughs> So yeah, like I was saying, if you if you do uh, like it say it means like sponsoring the channel, but if you if you do pay like ninety nine cents a month, yeah, you get a little avatar, all the joys of life. Dude. Sucks to be me. <laughs> I'm just sneeze the devil out of my nose. Right, so I need to buy. Oh, well, that one. So I need to buy. Um, I'm going to say 10 vertical belts. And I'm going to buy 10 straight belts. And we'll be fine. That'll keep us going for a bit. Found it all. Brilliant. Can you jump me a link, mate? And I'll read up on it later. I'll get it all working for next stream. Definitely. And that means everybody can be represented. Link to Discord. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. So, yeah, if you do have any, like, questions, issues, or anything else in this game, I'm more than happy to sit here and tech support. I, it's what I used to do as a job years ago. I did tech support for internet service providers. I did tech support for Curry's PC World. I've done... QA testing for the, like games. I've done QA testing for this game. I've done all right, so I sort of know what I'm doing. I'm still not good on logic, so please don't ask too many logic questions. I'm still bloody useless at logic. I suck at logic. All right, let's put it away. Right, so we need this one. Step up. How do you build a working calculator? Like, yeah, that's that, that's a logic question. I'm not good with logic. There are people in the Discord who have built them. I think Steve actually has a guide on how to build a working calculator. You could ask him. You know what? It's probably easier at this point to use a pallet. Stick them all to a pallet and then stick them all on the back of this. Huh? Can I multi stack? Huh? 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 Uh, that sucks. No, I can't. My Wi-Fi cable didn't fit in the socket. What should I do? Get a new Wi-Fi cable that fits. <laughs> Have you tried turning it off and on again? Right, that ain't gonna work. Some people are subscribing. I still can't see it because YouTube sucks. Uh, can you make auto repair on drill filters? Why do you want to put them on the drill filters? Just put the filters on the pipe and then put auto repair on that. You don't have to touch the drills to do that. That's silly. 
you just auto repair the filters on the line. You don't repair the, uh -huh. you don't have to worry about filtering the drills in. How do I go about building a PC when I've only when I've only used uh, when I've only so far used pre-builds? Okay, so the best thing you can do is get a pre-built PC that you've already broken or don't use anymore. Learn to take it apart, and then learn to put it back together. It just means that you've got the experience to do it yourself. Your main things that you need to pay attention to are motherboard fitting for your CPU. You need to pay attention to uh, thermal paste just to make sure that there is enough on there under your cooler. And you also need to make sure your RAM is mounted properly, your CPU, your GPU is mounted properly. Everything else is basically just plug it in. And everybody's bane of existence are the fucking front cables you have to plug in individually. They're a pain in the butt. Apart from that, you just learn. Um, there are plenty of guides on YouTube as well for building PCs, as well. Like, Linus did like an hour and a half video of going through every single part, what it does and how it works. Um, Jay's Two Cents has got a decent guide out there of how to build a PC as well. Um, Bitwit did one as well. Like, there, there's lots of guides out there. Didn't LTT do a, do a newest video? Yeah, yeah, it was only like last year. He literally, they did a video that's about an hour and a half long. It goes through the reasons why you buy certain pieces of equipment and why things fit together, how to do it properly, and really takes its time. So it actually does guide you step by step, which I thought was pretty cool. Even for somebody who's built his own computers, I sat there and just went, this is actually a good guide. You know, he's he, they took the time. And I sort of commend them for that, because not a lot of people really take the time with, like, noobs. So, yeah, I mean, I I, I liked it. it. It was a good build. Um, J2 Sense is always building PCs, always go through, like, bits and pieces as well with the with subscribers, so go and check them out. Is there any reason to boost the water pipes specifically down to them? Yes, because if you don't boost the pipes, then you're gonna your water doesn't run. It'll run really slow when you get to the bottom. So if you just put a booster on there, then it'll keep the pressure running through your whole system, so the conveyor belts work at the right rate. That's that's what you need to look into. Because if you have two slower belts, it just looks like shoddy, and it can cause a bit more actual lag because if you've got like lots and lots of stuff on your belt and it's moving really slow your drills are going to be still pounding out at the same quite like the amount of ore they're ch they're chucking out so just more and more goes on the conveyor belt which will cause a backlog of lag over time it will just grind your system down that's just the joys of uh hydroneer always make sure your belts are running efficiently because they need to be I mean, like, can you make a system where nothing will break if you leave it for a couple of hours? Yeah, if if you can set up the auto repair system, um, it will last you nine hours without having to fill up the spanner hurlers anymore. Nine hours is a really good amount of time. If you leave it without be without like adding repair to anything, you'll probably run for about twenty minutes before your drills will start just degrading and you won't have anything left. It's up to you, though. Me, personally, I would take that whole... Uh, you know what? I'll build the auto repair system. It's going to take me, like, 20 grand. But you know what? It'll be worth it. Because the most expensive parts are literally the reader and the um, spanner hurlers. Like, the readers themselves are, like, they're six grand just for the five you need. So, yeah, everything else on top of it. I know, it's only about, it only works out about 15,000. And it's a, it's an easy build. It's not it's not complicated. I can do it. That that's how easy that build is. I can do it. And I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I've memorized the auto repair. Yes, yeah, same. <laughs> do you got a video on it or should I I've done yeah, no, I've done videos on I've if you type in Hydronit auto repair system, yeah, you'll find my video. You just follow the steps. Or um, I can show you now and you can just screenshot it. Um, this is the auto repair system. Uh, you need a reader, sorry, the reader, spanner hurler, three corners, two straights, and that, which is the flip flop cable. And you need five of those, and then it's all good. How does the ship token dock, uh, dock work? Okay, so you need a shop, you need a ship token from the shop. Of it's called the ship ticket, or yeah. Yeah, ship token, ticket office, or whatever it's called. Basically, you buy it, and then you take it to the ship at the Baron Harbour, and then you um, put your token in and go to Mott's Island. That's, that's, that's what you got to do. 
as long as you don't forge the uh, forge the inverter, which I do each time, and waste a lot of yeah. So uh, the other thing is build it backwards. So start from the spanner hurler and work the ca work the cabling backwards to the reader, because if you do that, you're not priming the reader. If you put the reader in first, it primes, and then it will just like hurl out all of your spanners in one go. You won't get a choice. It sucks. I didn't need this because I couldn't get it down. I couldn't do what I needed to do with it. That's fun. Right. Right, we'll work our way from the bottom. It'll be easier. Are you going to build a building over the top of your base? Um, maybe. I'm actually going to be building this onto a platform. Because I'm going to be stripping all the land away from... I need that there. Yeah, it needs to be what, one more square. I think. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's where that's going to go. So that needs to be... There. Hold on, I'm having an existential crisis. I'm going to have to dig into the stairs and put the lava pipe underneath. The problem with that is, can I go down that far? Um... Hmm. I don't think so. I don't think so, Dave. I think we need to go down. So the vertical, actually, yeah, the vertical needs to go down to this one here. And then it comes around here. Okay, cool. So we are one step down, so that's fine. That's what I need to do. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to cut a lot of this back out. Uh, oh, that's going to be fun. Uh, right. What's your plan for adding a booster to your pi water pipe down here? Good question. My plan is that the drills are going to be across here. My booster is actually going to sit in this corner. When I get it done, you'll see it. I've done, I've done this a couple of times, so I sort of know what I'm doing. Sort of. It's not 100% perfect. <laughs> it's far from perfect. <laughs> But it works. That's what all we need. So to ask again, but how do you obtain the buff stone? Any require any requirements? Yeah, you need a hauler because they're monsters. They are huge. So you have to be able to get the you have to be able to get the buff stone out of the floor. So you need the hauler, and then you need um, you need to take it to the shattered outpost where there's a melter, and then you get the forge mark out of the buff stone, and then it's all good.
Right, that should be just perfect. Excellent. I was literally one square out of doing that. There you go. That is exactly what I needed it to do. It's more challenging than the base than the base game. Um, I wouldn't say it's challenging. I would say that it's a little bit more long-winded. Like there is things in this game you have to do that you sit there and just go, "Why?" And yeah, you have to spend a lot of time faffing around. Basically. But apart from that, I actually like it. But um, I am, I have put together a review. Um, I'm being as honest as I can be about the game itself as a, a DLC pack. I do take cost into consideration. I do sit there and talk about the things that make me go, "Is this really necessary?" But apart from that, genuinely, I'm actually all right with this game. All right. How do you get lots of tokens for the vehicles? Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go and collect all 36 bones. Because if you get 36 bones off the level, and oh god damn it, just jump! Um, you'll get 9,100 tokens. After that, you're on your own. Yeah, the best thing you can do is all those little blue exclamation marks that are on the map. There doesn't seem to be any for me right now, so that's a pain in the ass for me showing you. Basically, normally there's blue exclamation marks on the map. They're people who need things built for them, missions. So you go and do those missions. They'll be like, can you build me a sword? Can you build me a necklace? Can you do this? And you'll get X amount of tokens back from doing that sort of thing. You can't buy the tokens. You physically have to make things. I hope that answers a good question. Uh, yeah. Should be perfectly fine. All right, let's keep going. Oh, I haven't got a corner belt. That sucks. The hauler could have been part of the base game, to be honest, if I found it. My, my problem with that is... Well, I mean, it's not so much of a problem, is what would you do with it? Because in the base game, there's no reason to have the hauler. The hauler is literally for lifting heavy stuff. So the drills that you can build in this game, the heavies, like the heavy drill, the heavy harvester, you need the hauler just to move. You can't walk them around. So when you go to Volcalidus and you're like, hey, I'm just going to build myself a heavy drill, you need to f you need to physically get the hauler, pull it out of the forge, and bring it back to the, l the land. It's a heavy thing. You cannot lift it on your own. On the base game, there's no reason to have a hauler because everything you can lift. So there's no point in having it. It may have a massive loading bed, but you don't need it for this game. For that game, there's nothing big in the in the base game for it to be really useful for. I mean, yeah. What do you like more, normal game or DLC? Ah, uh, that's a good question. I actually, I'm going to be honest. I boot. I do prefer the base game because I like the more variety of. Um, uh, the, the um, I like the variety of the tier systems. So with this game, your drills can go all the way down to tier three. You don't have to worry about like a tier limitation. So it feels like I'm playing 1.7 again, where I, there was no tier limitation. It was like cool, just go and build whatever, whenever you want. It doesn't really matter what you do. Just go and enjoy yourself. It's all good. That's what this game's like. I preferred the tier system because for me it gave me some more things to do. My builds looked a bit different in each floor I went down. It made me think about like the power systems I needed to use and the pressure I needed to use. And when it came down to like knocking into like tier one, tier two, tier three, I was able to build different styles of mine. So it looked, it reflected a different sort of like state of like build. That's what I preferred. So it just feels a bit more generic for me if I'm, if I'm going to be honest. It's not a bad thing because I enjoyed 1.7. But I don't like the fact that it almost feels like we went back a step just to do this this update. And that's just me. But I do like the fact you're able to buff the drills. So if you go and find your stones and get the forge marks out of them, you can upgrade the, the drills. Are there also gardening in the base game? Um, yeah, you can build trees and flowers. So you can do gardening if you really want to. I'd see that a little bit pointless, but I'm, I'm going to be honest, that is just me. <laughs> Why would I do gardening?
Yeah, so the powered batteries and stuff, I, that's what I like about with this. That's that's one of the similarities I like about this when it comes to the water that we, we use. So we use a water system to power the belts. To me, in my head, that's the power system. So it's just like, it's the power. is it worth $10? Are you going to play it for more than 10 hours? So to put this into perspective, I've played this for now. Well, this, this run through, I've done about a hundred, well, I've done nearly nine hours. So I'd say I'm almost up to my pound an hour, which is good. But I have also done 160 hours into beta. So I have spent a long time playing this. And I'm still not bored. And that, but it is just me. I, if you if you like the old if you like the old version of Hydroneer, you'll like this game. That, that's just how I have to say it. Um, I have 16 hours uh, in just the deal. Exactly. So you've already got your money's worth. And it's only like eight pound fifty, which is flipping cheap. Claws has raided my channel. No, <laughs> you raided. You didn't need to raid, but thank you very much, buddy. Right, I think I've got enough crappy like, stuff up here for now. Um, I'm going to turn... I want to turn my drills off. So... So I've turned my drills off. That one I'm going to keep running until it's filled up. That's water already. That's fine. So yeah, we're doing, we've done that. That'll just finish. So the reason why I've turned this valve off is that run that stops all the lava down there. So whatever comes up on this belt will come up now. Bit of support. That's right. Thanks, man. So I think that's the end of the belt. The reason why I'm ending it is because I need to move. I need to move the drills and stuff around now. So yeah, fun and games. Uh, ten of those hours I ju I've just wasted looking for three uh, last. <laughs> yeah, there's 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 a few pains in the ass like ones you gotta find. Are there anything is better? To, uh, is there anything better to use for guessing or not an unlimited? Uh, I don't know what. Are there anything it's better to use the stone? As I'm guessing, it's not an unlimited resource. Are you talking about the buff stones? They are on. They are unlimited. There's like 25 spawn points for like stones. When you pick one up, another one spawned in the world. <gasps> Alberto Torres, Padilla. How you doing, bud? So what is your new south hope in this game? This place I'm at. West uh, Waterside. I like Waterside. Good place. Right, and before I use up all of my uh, lava and my... Sta uh, so we, I need to put a, st uh, a thingy up there as well. Would you ever uh, would you ever want world generation with the game so different worlds randomly? It doesn't really matter. If I'm going to be honest, you just dig to the bottom, you'll be happy. You don't have to worry about world generation for that. Right, let's start stripping this out. So, it's going to be a bit funky for now. I need to put this down here. So, one thing I have forgotten is to literally build by corners. So I haven't got any corners. So I'm going to have to go and get another conveyor belt. Which is ball achy. But apart from that, I'm okay. Right. So. Eh. Don't worry, everything will be sort of explained in a minute when I'm oh. done faffing around. E. Get rid of that one, stick that there. Ugh. And e. Don't worry about that, matey. You'll be just fine. Right, cool. Infinite animations. Uh, nope, you're only being bounced around. Yeah, that's cool. Will you die in the... No, yeah, it's just fun. You just bounce around and look like an idiot for a bit. It's fine. <laughs> it's, just, it's just more fun. Like, they're, they're, nothing in this game can kill you. 
Like I even tried to jump down the middle hole in the um, in the level, and it wouldn't let me. So I was a little bit annoyed. Right, I need a cup. I need one more vertical, and I need a thingy one as well. I'm sort of glad I bought extras. Let's put it away. At the moment, doing this around this is a proper pain in the butt. Right. Uh, have a great rest of your stream. I'm off to bed. Peace out, man. Have a good one. Enjoy yourself. Well, I'll say join yourself. You're going to bed. So sleep well. Be happy. Sounds like sounds like a joyous occasion to me. Hello, hybrid. Hope you do. Hope your day is doing well. Yeah, I got back from a birthday party. Uh. <laughs> I'm okay. I survived. I'm alright. Don't worry. The quicker I can get this done, the better. Right. So I need to take my drills. Actually, while we're on the subject to drills, we can do this a little bit better now. So this is a good drill. This is a bad drill. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both my bad drills and stick them up, 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 stick them up here. So these will be, become my ice makers, whereas all the good drills become the ones I need for drilling. And it's fine. We'll actually go off. We can actually go off and build a proper drill soon. <gasps> An actual proper drill. Or we just unlock the th the tier three shop and we'll be just fine. Oh no! Jump, you bonehead. Now, it's going to get a bit cramped down here, which is part of the way it's going to suck. I would swear that I would have a bit more space. But I don't really care, because I just need to go that way now, which is going to be more fun. I think I can. Um, I need my pickaxe. I need to look where I'm going. So, if you guys have ever done this before, what you do, you just bore a hole into the wall... And just duck into it, right? And you can see where you are. So if I follow that down to tier three, my that's where my build's gonna start, and I'm actually gonna aim for opening up all of this land. But I need to get down there before I do that. So that's where I'm gonna be digging tier three. So this just becomes like a at the moment, this is literally just gonna become a little like like crappy area until I can get everything sorted. That's okay. And I need to get some stairs, because I don't like doing this a lot. But it gets cramped for a little bit. Until you, until you can move down to tier 3, it gets cramped down here. It's horrible. It is proper, sort of, like, claustrophobic. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. And we need to go that way for the rest of my build. Excellent. So, next I need to bring down the lava pipes. I don't think I've got enough on me, so we'll try and get them down there. Right. So. Let's take this apart. We might have enough, but I don't think so. How do you tell a good drill apart from the ones you're going to use as ice make? There's like a little rating system on them. Um... That's a good drill. One star, one star. Okay. Um, um. Wait, you? Oh, it's because it was leaning again. Bums. Get my pickaxe out of here. There is another crappy drill down here. Is it that one? No, that's a good one as well. It's this one. So if it's got three red skulls next to it, it's a defect drill. Um, it's not going to run as fast... It's a little bit crap. You don't have to worry about it too much. You generally just don't, don't care too much about them. Um, use them as you will. You know, that sort of thing. When it comes down to, like, efficiency, they're not worth keeping around. But they're worth dealing with just ice, which is what I use them for. So, all I've got to do is hook that up to there, and we're fine. So I need a T-pipe here. I need a T-pipe there. Sorry. That's fine. Uh, one of those.
basically the first couple of drills you get from the shops are not very good right and then when you've bought when you buy the tier one shop you'll get a good drill when you buy the tier two shop you'll get a good drill and when you buy the tier three shop again you'll get a good drill but then that they basically take over from these the, the reason why i put these into ice making is because these are literally just they're crap drills they get you a little bit of riches here and there but the two drills downstairs now will actually produce twice as fast as these two together once you've made a drill can you upgrade no uh you basically only upgrade when you're forging the drill so yeah sorry about that it's not my fault it's max's fault i'm just apologizing on his behalf uh, so yeah, it's, it, that's just a case of unfortunate. You just have to do what is done in the game. Right, so that way. Can you show the Wii? So I actually need... Yeah, I don't need my pickaxe down here anymore, but I need to start building up here. Eh. Get this done first. Stick that up there for a second. Get the other corner pipe. Don't worry, when I'm finished down here, you'll be able to, I'll be able to walk around down here. It just means that at the moment it's just gonna be a bit of a jump fest until I get it all sorted. <sighs> okay, so I have So I just have to scrap. Or you just use them, you know? The thing is, is if you scrap them off, that, you know, you, they, they are still a usable drill. They do have purpose. It's just, they're just not going to be as good until you get everything sorted. Don't need this right now. Right, um, actually saying that. For now, that'll be all right. I mean, it's just it's going to run a bit slow. I just realised the fact that I haven't seen any of the notifications on your streams. Uh, last time I was here, your stream was ages ago. Yeah, notifications on the stream are you have to turn those on. And even then, like YouTube doesn't YouTube doesn't push like notifications to a lot of people. It's awful for it. It's it sucks, genuinely. And um, it doesn't matter how much you bitch and moan to YouTube. They'll always, they'll always give you some sort of excuse. They'll be like, well, you know, you, you've got to get your subscribers to do this, or they've got to do this. It's like, yeah, my, I, I've got that data, and yeah, they have already, like, hit them the bell note. Well, you know, sometimes the system doesn't work properly, or this, that, and I'm like, for fuck's sake. But I do play a lot of different games. So, I mean, Hydrony is just one of those games I really get into when it comes out, right? But apart from that, a lot of people don't really care about the stuff I make. And I've seen this in my I've seen this in my viewing figures and everything. People just don't give a damn, and that's fine. They're they're allowed to watch whatever they like. I'm not going to tell them not to, but it, I find it funny when people are like, oh yeah, there's, you know, we'll support the channel and everything. And that's cool. I like it, but you do sit there and just go. You do realize that for the last you know for almost a year, I have been making content and videos and this that and the other, and it just seems weird that no one really watches them. But, I could, I, you know, maybe it's just because you're not really interested in the games I play. And I get it. It's not for everyone. But I do find it strange. And that's why, um, yeah, that, that's why I've, I've considered so many times just sitting there just going, you know what, I'm just going to make videos like Grey Steel Plays. Or something like that, just because it's different. But then that takes away the authenticity of what I like doing, you know? I'm a boring person. I like making guide videos and I like talking about games. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't resonate with a lot of people sometimes. Right, that's where I've got to put that. Right there. But a lot of people suffer from this. There are, the problem is, is a lot of people chase numbers and they're like, oh, I need to build up, I need to do this, I need to like get my channel to a bigger... Th it's like, okay, you can try, but maybe the more effort you put into it, it's actually going to kill the channel off 
because some people just don't really care about what you make. You just have to make videos for the people who do care. So, yeah, YouTube's a bit of a, ph a philosophical thing, really, in a way. It's like, okay, well, I'll figure it out as I go. And if you're happy in your little groove and you do whatever you do, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to, like, mess around too much. And if you're looking to build a career off of being a YouTuber, then you just have to try harder. Unfortunately, that's what I've got to do. But I don't really care too much. I actually like building the content I've made. You know, I try to be entertaining for the people who do watch the videos. And if you don't watch the videos, you don't watch them. It's no skin off my nose. Because it hasn't peeled a lot. So. Don't worry, I will build a platform across that so I don't have to keep jumping the hole. Uh, how did you know that uh, night on the right on the point of how I fell into a deadlocked loop on the channel? Yeah. Wasn't there this saying, um, wasn't there this saying, say normal long enough, you become special by itself. Yeah. And I try to keep my content as normal as possible. I'm not going to shout and scream at you, you know. Gets to be distressing sometimes how finicky the rake is. Ah, uh, you just got to learn where placement is. Like, the rake itself is actually pretty easy to, like, mess around with, you know. You just got to learn... I do. I know where people are coming from, though. Don't worry. I mean, I get it. It's not the greatest of tools in the world, but it is one of those things. But yeah, the death spiral of YouTubing. It's um, it can cause problems. I, I I've seen, I've seen bigger creators than myself just like fall apart, you know, and they'll get like. I mean, at the moment, there's one I watch called uh, Shadowversity, and he's basically a guy who does a lot of documentation on swords. And he genuinely thinks the reason why his channel started to like die off again is because like YouTube's suppressing him a little bit because of like the sword content. And that could be the case. Or it could just be the case that he's hit that ceiling of his channel and the channel is just where it is. You know, you you're gonna earn X amount of money for the rest of your life and it's not gonna go any further. I don't know. But if you re if you go down that route of going, Oh, I wanna be a massive YouTuber, I wanna do this, you've got about five years. And five years is about the average life of a YouTuber. And if you can surpass five years, chances are you can grow just off of, like, being experienced. Uh, the subject of content matters too. There is a Rust content creator who switched to gym content. He went from 300k to 600k to 6,000 views. Yeah. And not everybody wants it. The thing is with that is he switched in it. Did he just switch the whole channel? Or did he create a new channel? Because... If he switched the channel, that was the problem. As soon as he did that. And the reason why is because he had the audience who wanted to watch Rust content and they didn't want to watch Jimbro content. So that's the problem. So for me, if I, I'm gonna count I'm gonna be doing mining content for a long time. I've got this, I've got Out of Ore, I've got Satisfactory, I've got Gold Rush whenever I want to do a season. So I've got a lot of like choice in what I want to do and other games that come out for like digging and so on and so forth. He switched content, yeah, that was the problem. Oh, he switched channel and delisted old videos. Yeah, that no, that's the problem. He did. He he didn't. If he'd have started a new channel and just went gym bro, he would have been fine. But because he went from a gamer to a gym bro, that was it. Done. Uh, no one. A gamer doesn't want to watch somebody work out unless you're like me, who's actually trying to pick up tips and bits and how to actually get all that. So, the I'm going to a gym. And I watch things like uh, Jay Cutler and a couple of other like bodybuilders. And the reason why I figured if I listen to a bodybuilder, even if I'm not bodybuilding, these are the people that basically work on like certain muscle groups to grow their muscles. And I'm figuring if I just follow some of their basic ideas of how to grow like your forearms, this, that and the other, then it helps me not become a bodybuilder, but it helps me become a healthier body. 
So I'm not taking like, you know, fucking steroids and all this other stuff. I'm literally sitting here just going to a gym, just working out. Hence why I have three, uh, four channels. Yeah, so I've got this channel as my main content. I have been through like the ringer of trying to like think of other things to do. But in all honesty, if I'm going to create another channel, I ain't going to tell anybody about it. I'm just going to sit here and just make videos because no one else really cares about the other stuff I make. So I'll just keep that quiet unless people just go, oh, what's your other channel? And then I'll, I'll direct you a link. But right at this moment in time, it's just an idea. You know, something might happen in the future. I don't know. There might just be a game that pops up that just makes me go, you know what? I'm going to follow this for the rest of my life. And I'll just play sim game content on here and just be what I'm doing. And I'll, I'll focus 100, like 99% on the other one. But you never know what's going to happen in the future. For me, Hydrenia has been very good to me, and I've enjoyed it. And I've, I've, you know, I, I've put my, I've put a lot of work into Hydrenia for as a guide creator, and to like try and help the community out as best I can. Because the community are a little bit like, I would say that the game doesn't explain itself fully, so you do need like weirdos like me to actually delve into it and actually explain stuff. And that's just where I fit in. But. If a game came out one day that just goes, this is everything I ever wanted in a video game, I'd probably just 100% focus on that and just be that for the rest of my life. It wouldn't affect me too much. Like, for example, MMA fighters. Yeah, I, suppose they, they, I should I should look into those as well because some of those are really good. Only time you're calling others out are mainly on spammers. Yeah, I, I don't really do much else. Uh, where in description are the worst bows to find? Huh? I don't I don't know what that means. Right, I need more of these. And now I could put this in the back of this truck. Uh -huh. Let me just... Don't start another stream. I haven't finished watching your preview. Well, you, it means you're going to have a lot to watch over the week. Because I'm streaming tomorrow as well. <laughs> So you've got a five hour stream from yesterday, probably like a three and a half hour stream, maybe four hours today. And then I'm going to um, stream tomorrow. I want to be at tier five by the end of the weekend. Well, not tier five, tier three. Tier three by the end of the weekend, get stuff done and we are sorted. That's the plan. And we're almost there. As soon as I, like, as soon as I get these hooked up and I'm, I'm going, like, we'll be getting core stone because we're in tier two. And whilst this is happening, I do want to get up and make myself another drill, but I'm going to have to wait for that, I think. I have 2 hours and 32 minutes left. Oh, that's a shame. I, I don't have sympathy. You could just watch it later. I'm here now. <laughs> watch this one. You'll be fine. Right, let's get this. What else do I need? I need a corner. Uh, let's go and get that first. So I need a, a right-hand corner. Cool. Like, where's the most annoying... Uh, the, the most annoying hydrosaur bones could be? Uh, there's two in the barrens. One's next to the ore rig. The other one's next to the harbour. And then some of the more annoying spots. I'll, I can pinpoint on the map for you. So... Um, Thank you very much for subscribing. I can't see. I can't see your name. So the most annoying spots are there. If you look on your map, you can see there's like faint rectangle, like square. Go there. There's the, that's a spawn point for a bone. The as you're looking at the harbour, the right side of the harbour next to the sea, there's an annoying one there. Um, if you look on the side of the volcano there's a couple of annoying spots there as well and around scoria there's a couple of annoying spots on the on the waterfront but apart from that they're like the really annoying spots unless you've gone have you gone through the ice maze because there's one or two in there as well yeah i i it's there's always one that i miss always one the harbor none there um so yeah the, the harbor if you look at the harbor itself and then go to the right of the harbour and go down by the sea. So next to the actual stone wall, there's a little patch of grass. And next to that patch of grass, is a, it, it, there's a bone. Well, that, that's one of the spawn points. The other one is next to the ore rig. Which, again, is in the, in the, in the fog. 
So you have to find the rig. You have to find the rig first, and then you'll be fine. Which are the little rectangles on the map that no one knows about just yet, because no one's asking about them. There's a video coming out about them very soon. I had to cover them, because I know at some point when people start looking at them, going, what do these do? Yeah. I got the bone on the right side of the volcano walls. There's there's th two or three spawn points along those walls. Uh, some games are really niche too. Hydroneer is more accessible than Gold Rush. I completely agree. Um, so with uh, Hydroneer is more open for like anybody can pick up and play this game. You do have to have that sort of like mindset that you enjoy mining content and you you enjoy digging holes and you're okay. Gold Rush is uh, niche, very, because not everyone wants to mine gold for like fourteen hours a day in a, in a video game. They do it in real life, but it is still boring in real life. But they don't want to be like sitting on their ass for fourteen hours playing Gold Rush and be like, oh, I'm competing. I've done it. It's it's okay. I got a little bit bored. Towards the end, but that is because I did like 30 days straight, and I was like, I, you know what? My brain is starting to fry itself. I still like Gold Rush, though. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ever like stop playing it. Just I have to take like breaks between seasons, like a good couple of months. <laughs> I did say that I would be back probably after September because it starts to slow down unless. Unless something really takes my fancy, it starts to slow down then. Uh, Hydroneer is also one of those games that you must start with a blank slate, and before you know it, you have this crazy setup that you've put. Yeah, exactly. You put the time and the effort into it as well, which is always a good way of build. And you learn how to play the game, or you watch someone like myself who taught you how to play it, and then you can sit there and use all the information you learn to make yourself a better player. I still hate logistics. Yep. Yeah. Logic sucks. I hate logic. If you didn't know that already. That is, I would say that's where most people go when it comes to logic builds. It's like, yeah, what have you done? I built the automated uh, repair thing. Yep, that's cool. That's where most people end up. That's cool. that's fine. I'm going to have to build like a tunnel through here. Or bury my pipes, maybe. Oh, just learn to jump, please. I know of another game that needs a new tutorial guide. Which one? Can't wait to show the DLC. It looks very interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's like like I keep saying. If you like De if you like Hydroneer, you'll like the you'll like this game. Astro Colony. Yeah, man, I'm gonna have. I think I might have to because, like, I, I think he's been adding stuff into that game and not. Well, as you said, it's quite hard to pick up and mess around with now. But we'll see. It used to be fairly simple: build conveyor belts, chuck stuff into buildings, and be done. That's what I remember it of, at least. So. If he's been messing with the game to try and make it look something it's not, and I don't know what he's done. He used to be good. Oh, it sucks, man. I like that. Astrocon is a really cool game. If you like conveyor belting in space, and you like going like, into meteorites and stuff, it's brilliant. Not now, okay. He broke the game. That sucks. 66 of 78 achievements after the DLC dropped. Yeah. I want I, I actually I can show you one of the um, one of the ones I haven't done it myself yet because I just haven't thought about doing it, but it is an achievement. It's very, very simple. Give me a sec. When we got this hooked up, we'll be cool. 
Right. Um. Won't need these for a bit. Right, let me just turn this on. Snowballing the king. Apparently, you can't actually you can't actually do that. I haven't tried, personally. Do you remember to get the re uh, logic readers? Um, yeah, they're in a logic shop they're down in um, uh, Shattered Outpost. Huh? This will be interesting. I don't know how many pipes I bought. The Astro Colony is something I wouldn't mind looking into again, but I've got the update for um, Planet Crafter as well, because Planet Crafter is a pretty damn cool game, and I like it, and it's it's just about to hit like version 1, so I want to go through that again, because I like it, it's a cool game. Um, I need, I want to cover, I might cover Satisfactory when it goes over to version 1, because again, Satisfactory is a pretty cool game. We'll figure all this out as we go. Right. Now, technically, all this should just work. Damn it! Bums, 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 bums. I know what I haven't done. I didn't buy a bloody corner conveyor belt and now, my, now everything's going to blow up and die. Oh, okay. That's not good. Right, let's just... we got to go quickly and go and get ourselves a corner conveyor belt before, like, the poo hit the fan. What about Tectonica? I was going to pick up Tectonica, like, the other day, but it was... It was, I looked at my bank account and went, I can't quite afford it, even though it was on offer. I was like, oh man. So, yeah, that's something I wouldn't mind looking into as well. I've been playing Minecraft and other achievements now, you know, I'm hydrating. That's all good. <laughs> so, yeah, for me, it's like, I, I might, I want to keep this sort of like automation sort of channel. You know, and like all the other like simmy games that I want to play, like Supermarket Sim and Bits and Pieces, that's the sort of thing I was thinking of putting into a new channel. Because I can just take the piss over there. Like, I can be that satirical British person. Not quite spiffing Brit, but more like satire. So I'm actually just ripping it out of it, sort of Or just doing what I did when I... If you, if you watch my rant video, um, me having to go all the people in the Gold Rush community. Those people. That's the sort of humour that I wouldn't mind doing because it's like it's very dry wit, but it's British. But that's the sort of person I am. I'm good at argu I'm I'm good at arguing with people, so I can just argue with myself about playing games. But yeah, once once like Hydron is like gone up to that peak again, and then it drops back down. I do sit there and just go. So what else can I play? Because once Hydron stops, like all the people that come to this channel to watch Hydron content, they all just go off on their own like. Ends and I'm like, okay, cool. And I, I, I do sit there for a bit, just going. So, what am I supposed to be playing? Because I just, I just don't remember. I just don't think about it. I just have no idea what to do after this game. I was a bit of a disappointed when I found out the hauler does not have a horn. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame. It needs like a big locomotive horn. Just that'd be cool. Cool. That didn't work too well. I don't really care. We'll we'll be okay. I need stairs. E Right, that should be completely fine now. 
Yay, we're working. By the way, there is a snowball pile behind the throne at the dock where the king is. There is for a reason. You can throw snowballs. Tectonica was on offer now, 25. Yeah. It was 16 quid the other day. But like I said, it's like... I couldn't afford it then. I wouldn't mind getting hold of it, but... Yeah, it's... It is a strange... So this is the, this is where the strangeness of, like, YouTube is. You want to play games that you want to enjoy and be happy on. But at the same time, you want to be able to make, like, make content that other people are going to watch. And you're like, so what do I make people? And the people that I follow, people like Blitz and Dre and, like, people like that... They make a different style of content to me, so I'm, I'm always just sitting there going, I can't really copy them because they're doing something that I don't do. I can't do that. I hyper energy. I'm just not that type of person. I'm more like when, when you see like stand-up comedians, and uh, this is how I mark. This is how I see myself. Okay. So when you see a stand-up comedian, it's somebody who's going to be a bit bubbly. They're going to be walking around like the stage, talking to the crowd, like getting everybody involved, a little bit more upbeat and all that stuff. If you look at my content and then think Jack D, that's me. Very dry, very sort of like monotone, very British. You know, I'm not that bubbly person who's going to be prancing around the stage like Russell Howard. I'm basically Jack D of YouTube. <laughs> that's how I describe myself. I try, you know, the, the whole entertainment thing. Like, if I want to make one of those like hyperactive videos, I need to be on. I need to wake up. Then I need to wake up one day sit there and be like okay i need to make this i need to make this video cool like i need to hype myself up and then afterwards i'm shattered you know because it like uh, doing that putting that much energy into anything for me is like that's a lot of work for me because that's changing the entire way i do stuff and the entire way that i talk and the entire way that i like present and that's just too much for my brain to handle it's like doesn't it doesn't work Right, I think I need to build, I've got to be honest, I'm really fearful of the, um, when it comes to the heavy, because the heavy one is like nine squares, nine squares is the big square, so that's going to have to get moved back one, all of this is going to be get ripped out, we're going to have to redesign some of this shit, it's going to be annoying. But yeah, that, that's how I that's how I see myself in the in the great eyes of content. I, I see myself as the Jack D of YouTube, where I'm dry humoured. I'm I'm like can't be bothered half the time to like talk properly. I'll be like, okay, guys, we're just gonna go and do this, and we're fine. It's like the half-assed attitude, but a good half-assed. You know what I mean? Don't try this at home, kids. There we go. Need to put a floor down now. All right, uh, throwing you up on the TV so I can play some pool. Hey, I'm in a pool room. Look at me. So in short, you're saying you're the opposite of Jack Septicon. Yeah, basically. Uh, there is no way that I could ever be as hyperactive as him. Like he's got ADHD. That's where his like hyperactiveness comes from. And when he di when he got diagnosed with that, he just went. The whole world makes more sense. So yeah, he's he's hyperactive because he can be. Are there any bones on the vehicle island? No. The pains in the arse spots are the barrens where the oil rig, or well not the oil rig, the oil rig and the harbour. Um, Scoria is a pain in the butt. There's like eight or nine different spawn locations up there that I've seen. Um, the ice maze, that's a nice place to go. That's got, that's got some in there. Right, what else do I need? What else do I need to do? And I think now it's just I need just to upgrade. It's based on the type of ADHD and AD yeah basically but he's got yeah he's got those things wrong with him well they're not really wrong with him it's just his brain's wired differently but it makes that if you if you watched all of his earlier stuff and you just saw him as like a hyperactive kid 
And then when he got diagnosed with ADHD and like parts of ADD, his old content started to make more sense where he was like a squirrel, where it was like, no, you know, Jack Scepter guy. So if you watch his stuff without knowing his diagnosis, he's like a very hyperactive person. If you watch his stuff knowing his diagnosis, all of his content makes sense. That's just how it is. Like me, it's more OCD because everything has to be certain ways. So that's just, that's the way I do things. Maybe I should just call myself the OCD builder. You know, because everything has to be done a specific way. <laughs> like, it's very Rain Man, apart from I'm not very good at maths. <laughs> Just gotta wait for things to be done now. I thought you always had it since uh, um, since I had it. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Because you've got it, you could probably you, you can see the characteristics in other people that have it as well. Have you ever considered getting into Lego? Um, no, uh, they uh, Ollie plays with Lego now. He builds um. He builds things uh, like characters and stuff he sees on like YouTube videos. Admittedly, the videos he watched that he got inspired by, I sat there and just went, "You shouldn't have been watching this." But he he does build stuff with Lego. Logan is more cars. He enjoys like playing with cars, building tracks, that sort of thing, because he's a Hot Wheels but thing. But yeah, Ollie's like Lego build. Logan's cars. I used to build Lego years ago, like when I was younger. But I grew, I, I sort of grew out of it, you know. No, I know. Hmm. I just got a patch for Hydroneer. Yeah, I think they've been he's been pushing like little bits and pieces. When someone comes up with a problem, then you know, it's, he's been he's been fixing them really quick. Something about coins getting stuck. Yeah, it was in the cart. You were the some people were putting coins in the cart, it literally was just eating coins. You wouldn't be able to take them out. So that's been patched. That was the one I that was the one I read earlier. Right, I think that floor is enough to go down to the bottom. I think it's enough. I can't. I don't know. I need a couple of squares, but I don't know how much I actually need. I think I'm going to need more than four squares. That's a bit of a bummer. Huh? I can't put cobbles on this one. Cobbles go on top, yes. Um, where I want to put. What, I need to put wood down here. You said earlier you don't want to run out of lava and disconnected the first pipe. What do you do when you run out? Um, can you please explain? Oh, no. I, no, I wasn't running out of lava. I was going to run out of, like, spanners. So if I'd have left this running, because my, uh, my valve is here to turn off the downstairs drills. If I leave this running, my spanners run out. So you don't want that to happen because then you have to fix the filters and then the everything else is attached to it like your drills that are still attached to this will get hurt so that means you have to repair them as well so yeah i wasn't running out of lava i was running out of um spanners it's all good right uh next 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 what do i want to do next i need stuff i need a lot of core stone i need this as well we need more drills I think it's time to. I think we need to go and buy the miniatures. I need to buy a desk as well. We're going to go and buy stuff. Yeah, that was just me being a div. Pardon me. Also, don't forget, guys, there's 105 of you in here. And I've only got 52 likes. So can we beat what we did yesterday? I think yesterday was 100 likes. I don't know if we can. But if we can, that'd be all good. If we can't, then, you know, at least we put the effort in. I would like my own stream, but I can't. It's a bit of a sad thing. 
Right, we need to go over Nya. And we need to pick up all of these. Thankfully, you buy these with credit. You don't buy these with um, other things. So you buy these with coins, it's all good. Seems they changed it because uh, my play, all ma all machines simply stop until I fix the lava filter. Yeah, because the lava filter basically stops the flow of water or lava in this poison. So it's always best to keep it repaired and keep it up to date, which is why I bought the auto repair thing. Which plot did he end up moving to? Me, I ended up moving to... Uh, Aww, I needed that. Waterside, because Waterside is my home away from home in this game. So currently there is no real point in basically buying um, tier 2 drills. Well, I say tier 2. The heavy drills, because I have got no way to transport them. So there's no point in getting them right now. Uh, I'll switch to YouTube and thumbs up. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Ugh. I just got the hidden achievement in the DLC. It's all good. Oh, yes. I think there's three hidden achievements. Core stone, clout. Yeah, core stone's 400. That's, that's going to be a lot of core stone. How's the family? They're okay. Ollie went, Ollie went to a birthday party, so he's tired. Logan stayed up for a little bit longer, so he's tired. And Kerry's not dead yet, so that's good. We're doing okay. There is a snowman at the docks. Yeah, there is. Uh, 67 by apparently my screen. Oh, I didn't buy a table. Oh, it's okay. I've got a, I've got a reason to go to Burville though. I'll go and get a table from Burville. Thank you very much for subscribing. I don't know who you Nate. I don't know who you are because that text is too small and YouTube's not showing me who's subscribing. So thank you very much to whoever you are. It's awesome. I don't know why it's not showing me on on like, like the chat. It's very obscure. Probably another change that Neil's thrown in. Like, yeah, we're going to be... Don't worry. We're turning YouTube into a short platform. Don't want it. And I like shorts. Well, I made them, but I don't really like... I don't really like the way they're sort of taking over and being completely recommended all the time and everything else. It seems to be a bit more of a... Oh, why are you doing this? Well, that is just me. Turns out an old £20 set I had is now about 40 I don't know, what are you talking about? Are you talking about Lego? Lego Star Wars, okay. This is why you get called the Lego Kid in the Discord, right? <laughs> right, so I need a table, which is a pain about but I need a hundred clautium, five hundred iron. We're good. I'll take the lot. I do need the iron bars as well. I'm just moving. There was a bone near the docks and the triangle as well as uh, as the deep. Yeah, well, I believe that I have literally all over the map and I'm still missing three. Um, have you been in the ice maze? 
down the side of the map. So, the ice maze here, I think there's like four or five spawns, but you have to go all the way out to the end of the waterfall area and just work your way through here. Go at night, it's easier to see. Also, here's the big thing. When you're driving, zoom out. Not a lot of people do this, or not a lot of people knew. I didn't even know about it until Robocourse told me. So, if you zoom into your truck, you've got a very limited view. If you roll your mouse button back, you've got a very high view, which means you can see more. So, you've got a lot more like area. You can just drive around and look a lot more of the screen, so you can see glowing things more. Uh, I don't know how, but sometimes when I step out of the truck, I'm on the trucks. But yeah, that's because you're reversing. They they added that in as a feature. So when you reverse and you get out your truck, you actually get out on the bedside. So you just keep walking. Uh, Max zoomed out. Yeah, so that does help. Um, the other place that's a pain in the butt to find are Scoria. Like there's a few on the um, there's a few on the beach that are a bit of a like hidden thing. There's a couple on the island as well before you go over to Burville. Um, another pain that, uh, another pain in the butt is sometimes are around here, like the top end of the shattered. So you, there's like a few that might be on the other side of a wall that you can't see. It's not a question of reversing. It's only when you look. Yeah. So it, it like for me, it's when you reverse. So because I reverse out of stuff. But yeah, you're right. Um, another one of these, like the giant ramps. There's a couple that are dotted around here as well, um, and there's a few on this on this road that goes down to Cinder, and there's a couple on the side of the volcano there. Wall. Did I say wall? I said island, which is up here. Oh, yeah, there's there's one down there as well. On the shattered outpost, go around the back of the outpost. So it's the um, the shattered breach has got the archway that goes over the top of you. Check around the back of the plot of land there as well, because there's there might be one around there. There is some really painful ones to find. Real painful. Right, I need 500 iron. That's 4,000. Hmm. Oh, I thought this ran the wrong way. Right, just need to go and get one more drill made. Yeah, so the way that I found, well, here is my money, uh, but take it. Thank you very much. Most appreciate it. Thank you very much for sitting there. I'll boom to you, sir. Most appreciate it. So the way that I did it was I basically gridded off the map. I would look within a certain area. So I would drive up one side and I would drive the whole of the ice wall and I'd be like, okay, cool. So I'm just going to look through all the, ma the, the maze and everything else. Um, and then when it came down to like going up the side of Scoria, I would basically just follow the... Oh, I'm not, I haven't got the bloody model on me. Um, I'd follow the road and then I would basically colour... In my head, I coloured it in. So I was like, I'm doing this bit, doing this bit. And I'd, I'd walk bits. Um... That's how I explored the map. That's how I found all the pieces. You know, it would be just those... I would just walk every sort of couple of, like, inches of the map over time. I forgot to bring the bloody miniature with me. How am I going to build a drill without the actual drill? That's a harvester. I don't need that. I need this. This! I need this. You know what, actually? No, we're not doing it yet. I don't know. No, I don't want to do it. We'll do it with the tier 3 stuff. It's fine. 
Fur Loki has followed. Yeah, so I can see that, and that comes up on Twitch, and then it comes up on my like hybrid still thing on here. But then I don't see anything from YouTube right now, so they must be screwing with their system again, so the bots can't keep up with what's going on. And I'm not even getting notifications from them to who's actually doing it. It's all coming through like stream elements, so it's really, really strange. That I'm not getting like this person has subscribed. No, like, Scoria's got some really horrible spawns. Like, they, they're hidden just out of sight, like, next to a tree that you wouldn't see it from one side of the area. You wouldn't even see it if you were looking down. You have to go right to the actual gap. There's some really horrible places. Um, along here, there's there's a couple of... Uh, along here, there's, a, there's normally a few around here as well. Um, there's a couple down by the other ore miner that way. So we're going to go up here because I need to go and like build a drill. But there's a little ledge on the side of here that there's one there. So I think there's there's some, there's normally one on that ledge or it's the one with the burnt out trees like there. So that's that's the spawn point for a bone as well. Yeah, the, the the shoreline is like the harder part to find them because they're just like bent out of shape sort of thing. And when you get to the top of here and you look over the edge, um, there's sometimes one on there. There's a couple on that side of the breach on this ridge. And then you have to check the inside of the ridge as well. So, And when you get down to there, you see that big fence that goes around uh, the shattered out bridge? Where that bridge is, the, like the lava flows into the um, the uh, the buff stone melter. There's one underneath, there's a spawn point under there as well. No, there's, there's none up here. They're on the side of it. There's a couple of them. Like I said, some of them are really horrible. How you doing, Scar? Welcome in. And there we go. Yeah. I'm just here to build a generic drill. I don't need anything special. And I leave these up here. I don't worry about keeping these around. But I'll bring this home with me today. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it catches you off guard, though. You could be coming around and you'll just watch it go up and you're like, oh, man. Also, you can stand inside this when it actually makes you a drill. It's really cool. Also, um... Real civil engineer. Yeah. What's his favourite shape in his games? Yeah, you get it. Also, this bit's a bit scary. <laughs> we'll take it home with us today. The knobs. Yeah, it does look like a penis. And then my favourite thing to do is this. Just drive off the edge. We Yep. I've been doing it for months. But it's a really nice view up here.
I don't get it. Please explain. His favourite shape is excruci in excruciating detail. He likes things that look like a phallic willy. There you go. It's quite funny. Which is why he always makes them in games. And it's because he can get away with it. He's got to a point where I think he's mastered the subtleness of his um, references. And at the same time, YouTube still allows it to happen. So I think he's he's got to that like prime ground. Which I thought was quite funny. Anyways, how you doing, Lord Dead Tool? Welcome to the live stream. Yeah, most games you could probably figure out that at some point there's even going to be a bridge review or a penis. That's just how his that's it. That's how his entire videos go. <laughs> what are you focusing on today? Yes. Right. So this is a bog standard drill that has no like forge marks in it. It's nothing special. It's literally just a drill. So there's going to be no like stars on it or anything. It's just a standard drill. Okay, no big issue, no nothing. Yeah, we'll put it this side. It's fine. Uh, she knows. I need a T pipe and a corner. What does the DLC add? Um, snow. Outside the Volcalidus, uh, the back of the bridge port. So what it does with Bridgeport is it's optimised a bit more. So things work. Oh fuck hell. Things work a little bit better. There's a new um, logic reader that actually helps you build, like look at your gauges and like if things are running out of um, of liquid fast. Also, it's able to read like smelters. So if you're running an auto smelter thing, you can actually hook it up to that, so it works properly. Genuinely, it's just a lot of like quality of life fixes where the game just works better. All right, that, that's mainly what you're going to see. You're going to see some sort of like upgrade when it comes to graphics because of just the way it's running now, and it's all good. It just and there's I've got to be honest, there's more still to do in Bastion than there is in this because this is um, two tier drills, whereas um, in Bastion it's three tiers and a lot more sort of like thinking about what you've got to do and how you've got to lay it out. Just my two cents on that. I mean, you don't have to take that as gospel. It's just the way I see things. <laughs> Right, and this needs to go there. Uh, Don't you give me that your lip. Uh, uh, Shush. Up. Neom. Neom. Oh, going down the going down the conveyor belt, sir. Cool, cool. There we go, three done. Three done. We can get one more on here, but we'll be okay. Are there any bones in the fog? There's two. There's one at the ore drill, and there's one on the harbour. If they if they're there, so if you look at your map, you see that little square. That's an ore drill. There's one there as well, and there's one over there as well. Now, that ore drill, there's a spawn point next to one of those, because I found one there twice out of like four times of doing it, and out two out of, out of the four times I've done it, two have been down at the Baron's Harbour. As you look at the harbour, look to your right. There's a little like slope that goes down to the water, and go check that out. Oh, why are my sides so hurt again? It only ever happens on Saturdays. I forgot to ask, is tier 2 the highest drill tier in the new DLC? There isn't a tier limit. I'll tell you that as you will. There's no tier limit, which means your drills work at tier 3. Just get down there. I forget. Uh, yeah, thank you. No problem. It's all good. 
it's basically what well, if when it comes down to the tier system of drills you're looking at um 1.7 logic so your drills worked at base level they just work better if you've got the heavy drills if you look at the goliaths and the davids or goliaths and thumper drills that we used to use thumper drills used to put down at like base level but they only ever used to get to like a certain size nugget which is the same as these if you use the heavy drills or the goliath drills you'll get bigger nuggets you get bigger stuff they work faster well yeah tier one drill they're not tier ones so i i had to i i did a video on this <laughs> Unless that, has that video no the video hasn't come out comes out tomorrow, so your tier, your drill is not tier specific. You can put it wherever you like. Doesn't matter where you put it, it'll work. You just need to get down to that level. So your tier two tools means you can get down to tier two dirt. Your drills can dig at tier two. Yeah, I I think it comes out tomorrow. I li I've built a video on that guy. I've built, I'll show you. Give me a sec. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show you my screen of like Hydrania. Um, do 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 content. Let me just pull up my. So the videos that came out today. Uh, let me just pull this up. Here we go. So tomorrow is the new lava drill, the new vehicles, and the bone collector. So that's the three videos that a lot of people keep asking for right now. Um, on the 8th is the heavy drills. On the 9th are buff stones. On the 10th is an ore miner. On the 11th is the Thor tank. On the 12th is the uh, the tears of Volcalidus. And on the 13th is my review of the game. So that's, all, that's still to come, basically. <coughs> so yeah, they're coming. Yeah, small and big drill. So, very similar to Thumper Drill, Goliath Drill. Yes. Exactly. That's literally how I say it. That's, the, that's how I have it in my head. Radio. So we are set. We've got three drills running down the bottom. They're running at high. They're running at like size as well, which is good. You must have read me like a book. No, it's just that's the way it is. If you've, if you've got any experience with this game in the past, when it comes down to, have you seen the future and it's hard? So, yeah, so that's the thing. It's like, when it comes down to the way that this game is presented with the DLC, it's more catered towards the way that the 1.7 game used to be, where you can put your drills wherever you like. They're just, you know, you'll get more out of them if you, buy, if you build the big ones. Obviously, the idea of forging your own drills comes from like the later on game where we can actually do that anyway. So that comes from like two point oh onwards. But yeah, this is very this is very in the back. If you if you've played the early versions of the game, you'll know the tier system, and there is no tier system. It's literally you're locked off by your dirt. That's it. Core stone. How much have we got? Probably haven't got a lot. 132 pound. What, I can't remember what we needed. Was it like 500, 600. That's all. I, all I want to do is unlock that thing now. I need to buy a table as well. Oh yeah, I've got to go and do that. Right, cool. We're go I've got a reason. Let's go. I'm gonna to go to um, Burville and I'm gonna go and start a fight. And I need a table. Since the tier system is not active in the DLC, would that not mean that Max saved the original code? Well, no, because he would have just freed it up during coding, you know? So the idea would have been, I think he may have been inspired by the, like, the earlier versions of the game to add this, just because it's probably an easier way of coding the game, you know? But again, I can only speculate, I don't know. But it makes my life a bit easier. 
because I don't have to like have like so many different like variations of build but I actually preferred it I prefer having like tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 drills but obviously at the moment it's not something you can deal with right so I just need to build it I need to buy a table so we're good and if I could actually wobble around properly we'll be fine table I'll buy two, you know. I'm not going to get a third free because I'd have to buy it anyway. We've got that. Huh? Right. So I need to do something down here as well. So around the back of That's Frederick's house. Oh, I didn't start the fight. It's just funny. They're literally having a snowball fight. You gotta like it for that. Come on, Hit more likes, please. <laughs> uh, the deal's gonna be demanded. No, nah, they're not too bad. And it's hours of entertainment because they don't stop. <laughs> Oh, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> but yeah, I want I want to build an igloo at some point. I really want this. It's nine thousand ninety nine. Yeah, is it ninety nine thousand? Ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine um, tokens. So. You gotta build a hundred items over a thousand each. They've stopped now because I looked away. There you go. If you just want five minutes of fun, throw a snowball and get them to aim at another NPC. So you just stand behind the NPC. They'll just throw each other for a bit. It's fine. Right, so that's my tables bought. We'll be okay. <laughs> I didn't think you were able to throw one at the uh, at the king, so that, that's news to me. Never thought about doing it, if I'm to be honest. Right. The king is just a mere child. Um, bums. You know what? That can go up here first. This can go on second. And these can go up here as well. I don't really care about them. They're just there. I do need to extend my flooring because of, like, these, mainly. Yes, the king is a child. Okay. We're nearly 6k. The 3,900. I would say probably by the time that, that hits 6,000, I've probably got enough core stone to do the tier 3 shop. We're up to 150. Maybe. Yeah, 
Right. What do I need now? Apart from my life. Flooring. That's something we do. Right, that's something I do need. So, let's go get some wood. I have yet to do the water side of the DLC building. Water side's alright. I like water side. There you go. It's pretty, this game. So that screenshot's going to be the stream tomorrow. Be okay. I need to. I want to get to tier three, so it's everything now is pushing towards that. I'm going to have to write down what I need. I can't. I keep, I keep forgetting what I actually need. I know hardstone's like five thousand four hundred. So by the time I get to six thousand, I should have enough course. I think course I might be five hundred. And then Cloutium is another load. I'll, I'll drop back on the way through. Do need to buy some repair to repair kits as well. We've got enough. Mm -hmm. Those truck tires are impressive. Yeah, I mean, they go through lava. Uh, I did find it funny that they spin too fast for how fast they're actually going. But you can survive lava. I think that that's really impressive. That's one of my favourite parts of this DLC. Being able to see at night, but actually having something good to look at. You know, it's, it's a nice... It, it's, it's, it's just aesthetically pleasing. It's just nice. Yeah, the Aura Borealis. So one of the ones that I would look at, if you're still looking for bones, under that there, that archway, and round the back of the wood fence there. That's if you're still looking for them. I don't know if you are. Yeah, man. I The, the amount of time I've spent on Hydra and watched it evolve, I'm actually sort of... I've got to be honest, I'm sort of glad I have been like this involved in this game. Like, seeing how the game has changed and how it's all been messed around and how it's, like, come out the other side, I like it. You know, there's just something about this game now that's just like, you know what? It's it's had a lot of troubles in the past, but it, it has genuinely just come out the other side and been like, you know what? We're still, we're still here. This game does work now. And it works a damn sight better than it used to. I, I remember how bad this game is. I am scarred for life with how bad this game was in the really early days but yeah it, it's nice to actually have seen this i think we're coming to the end of its like like addition life though you know when you get a game gets to a point where it's like um the end of life phase going into just maintenance phase and i genuinely feel the hydroneer is at that point you know mate it's just my gut feeling but i mean it's been around for four years We've now got a DLC. The game is predominantly fixed to a point where there's not really much else that I don't think can really go wrong anymore. So I think it's coming to that point where we're like, we're just about to see like the end of Hydroneer. You know, I'll, I'll give it another year and a half, two years, and I think that'll be the end. I think Hydroneer will move off and Max will start making something different and it will go from there. I don't know if it's a game that I'm going to focus on, you know, because I'm more of into, like, mining stuff. I don't know what Max's plans are. That is what he said in the last video. I haven't watched this. I haven't watched this video. Literally, I would have today, but I've been, like, I was out. And then I've streamed. So I haven't had a chance to watch it. I will watch it again. But, yeah, it was just the, the way that this game has come through and the way that I've sort of, like, like, been following it and everything else, that was just the way that I perceived it so if he's saying that in a video then i was spot on with how i was feeling about it 
You forgot the press by, but oh no, did I? Shit. Let me just give me a sec. That should be close enough to be able to buy it all. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Done. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I was sort of on I was sort of on the right par in my head then. Uh but yeah, it it just feels like it to me. And we'll we'll see how things go. I don't know what his next game's gonna be if he when building one. I was hoping maybe he would go down like another mining game, but you know, at the end of the day, if he doesn't want to do another mining game, I completely understand. It'd be interesting to see what project's going to come up though, and it, it might be the time that I actually, uh, I might not cover Falbor Hangover, it's depending on what it is. You know, all games have a shelf life. Yeah, exactly. I wonder if there'll be a Hydrania too. I don't think so. Hydrania itself is its get its own game. This that you know, as I said, maintenance phase is literally just keeping bugs down and keeping everything happy. And it's served its purpose. It's to, it's doing okay. It doesn't need a hydroneer too. Really doesn't. You know, if if he wants to add something to hydroneer, just chuck in another DLC or another like expansion to the base game. That's all it needs to be done. RPM Nexus, how you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing well, man. Haven't spoken to you for a little while. You've been, uh, I can assume you've been very very busy. I would say it's yeah, it's a pedestal game. It, it definitely stands out. Did you hit by? Yeah, I did. What I did buy it. I would definitely say yeah, like Hydroneer now. I I think in in my head, as a player of it, and as somebody who's like focused on the same game for quite some time, the pedestal is earned because it's just it it's taken its sweet time to get through. It's gone against a lot of people who got really pissed off with this game. It's gone through the anger side of things, and yeah, people still don't agree with some of the aspects of it. But genuinely, this game is—it it could have stopped ages ago, just in a in a worse spate. Huh? But Max and the team have, in fairness, done what they said they were out to do. They've they've genuinely put effort into the game. They've made it like very smooth running now, because compared to what it used to run like, I've got to be honest, it was. There were some times that even I sat there and just went, I don't think I can defend, I can't defend this because it is genuinely just crap. But they've gone through all of that. And it's fair play to them at the end of the day. Oh. Have any of you tried the multiplayer side? Uh, no. I need a couple of more pieces of uh, stone. Hydro in a nutshell. Once a nightmare. Want to anger ma went to an anger management and then stable float. Yeah, genuinely, I think that's good. I think it deserves its reputation now. And um, I think what I'll do is I want. I'm, obviously, I'm going to get all the achievements and stuff for this. I'm going to build out a build that I'm just going to spend a lot of time on now for a while. But I think in order to in order to really give it a send off, I think I need to do I need to finish this playthrough, which is however long it's going to take me, and then not play Hydroneer for a while. You know, just really sort of like get away from the game and just go off and do stuff for a, a long time. And then when Max announces the new game or whatever he's working on, that will be the last time I ever play Hydroneer. You know, and I'll be like, you know what? Now's the time. You know, say farewell to it, but I'll go through the whole thing. I'll go from like uh, Ember Cradle all the way through, and I have to get to like 10 million quid before I can go to Volcalidus, and then I have to finish Volcalidus off. And I think that would be a good way of doing it. I think that that's a solid like send off for a, a game that I've really, really enjoyed. You know, it's, it's, that's a couple of years down the line now. That's not like right now. Right now, I'm building stuff and I'm having fun. All achievements makes the masterclass build of your heart gone. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. So I think that's the way it's going to be. It'll be a sad day, let's put it that way. 
because I've spent a long time playing this. I've spent a long time like helping. It's been fun. It really has. You have a foundry update. Yeah. I do like the look of it. I think I think Foundry is going to be my next nightmare. <laughs> I think my my OCD is going to have a proper fucking overload in that game. <laughs> I'm going to be like, no, oh my head. I think it's going to be I think it's going to be the next one. That's going to it's going to destroy my brain. Yeah. Old man gaming, what up, buddy? If you like factory games, it's gonna be it's gonna be released on the second of May, and it's very user friendly. It looks very very orty, ourty, or I don't know what word you're you're using there. Yeah, Foundry is, I think Foundry would be in the next Steam game, like the game that I play on stream. Oh, Purdy. Purdy. It might be the next one I do a lot of streams on. You know, I'll just be sitting there going, right, okay, we're just going to do a bit more Foundry. Hydroneer should haste, uh, um, haste already under, oh, have already. Um, what of the next factory builder game? And for building Earth. Yeah, I mean, that's what I really like about Like, I mean, aside from, like, the things I really enjoy about the game as a personal, like, player. Who, they used to sat here and played it for a long, stupid amount of time. I would say one of the really going things for this game is the fact that it's very accessible for people with, like, not a lot of budget. The game is very solid for when it comes down to who can actually afford it. You know, I know there's a lot of kids out there that want to play a game and this one's not very expensive and it would actually sort of maybe help in some way of like order, putting order into their brains and stuff and thinking a little bit outside the box sometimes you know just messing around and having fun but in an actual sort of like half decent game instead of being called a, a toxic wanker online that sort of thing yeah the joys of toxic life online it's not Call of Duty and you won't get like you won't get abused on this one Build still running, no problems. And I've just been down the other side of the map, so I'm happy with this. Right. Where's my ray cat? No, 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 no. Where's my ray cat? Hydroneer is currently half price, so £7 for the base game, £8.50 for the DLC. That is a steal, if I've ever seen one in the game. Still can't figure out the harvester. Can it output core stone and clown? Yes, it can. Yes. Your drills have to be mounted. If you're getting core stone, your drills have to be two squares below the surface. And if you want core stone, you need to be down in tier two. So you need tier 2 tools to get your core stone. You cannot get them out of any other soil, but you can get them if you use the if you use pans. So if you fire if you fire drills into a pan, you'll get core stone. I know it's it's wrong, but genuinely it works because it works as a law in the game. I know it's a very strange law. It's how people cheat core stone at the beginning, like myself. Uh, you use a drill and you shove it into uh, oblivion with a with uh, a pan. Again, I'm late, but happy to see you're still streaming. Yeah, I'm still here. Never mind, it just started working. What were you doing wrong?
I'm very, very intrigued about what you what you were actually doing in the first place now, because like harvesters are really easy to set up, like stupid easy, like this easy, this easy. That's harvester sell. I will sit here and just have a conversation. If you, if you if you can go through what you were doing wrong, I have no idea what you were doing. I'm I'm intrigued. I really am. Because <laughs> you've been at that since I was talking to you in Diesel stream, and that was like a long time ago. For a hammer, so I can smack the concrete. It's so it can be straight, and it's so it doesn't move, and it's so I don't pick it up in a fight. I have it five below, two T, two T snow, along with the drill, so no core stone and cloutium Ran for like five minutes before I seen any come through. They are, well, cloutium and core stone are quite well. Cloutium is more rarer. Core stone is sort of common at tier 2 and below, so you'll be alright. Yeah, the water pipe. Yeah, see that? I'm getting it from here. Also, another good touch. Bubbles. Just little bubbles. It's fine. Building a scrapyard over here. Right, these are going to go downstairs. I need to put these on this floor. Because we're not drilling here anymore. Yep. It's over here. Is it iron and cloutium when making your own drills? Uh, I yes, one hundred cloutium and five hundred iron. But if when people say, "Oh, it's tier one and tier two, have you noticed that on these like miniatures, there's no tier on them? It doesn't actually say tier one; it just says what what they're worth. There's no T one, tier two. There is on the tools, but not on the drills, and that's why. It's more easier to figure out that it's just like non, like it's non-tier specific when it comes to what you're using. <coughs> Screw Diesel stream. For some reason, I have been able, I haven't been able to send messages in chat on his stream in like two years. I saw you message today. I'm pretty sure I saw you message today. Uh, my last save game was before the DLC launch. It's gone now. Great. I guess I'm restarting. It's okay when you move over to here anyway. You're restarting. The, you're restarting anyways, because, well, reasons. Because that's how the DLC is. Nah, it's cool, man. I know you're busy. Don't worry, RPM. It's cool, man. No, they're not. They're not tier specific. You just pick them up in the tier two store, but they're not tier two. They are every every tier. That's really weird. Oh, okay. 
Your saved data should still be there. That's really obscure that it has just disappeared. And if you did see him, then my mind is double blue. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw you. Like, unless there was somebody in there with the, the, the same sort of like icon. But I'm pretty sure I saw one of your like, messages pop up today in his. I was there for a while. We'll give up some, uh, some yeah, Syntax. Strange. I don't know what I really to say. Yeah, you're still you're still mod man. Like I, he's as said, I know you're busy at the moment. Well, I know you you're gonna be busy for a while, and I don't know if you're ever gonna be coming back to YouTube. But you still got a place in the mod squad because. You're still there, man. I ain't gonna forget about you. Cool, cool, cool. Ugh. Right, the only thing I need now is a couple of like wooden parts to go like down the sides. But that's going to be, like for me, that's going to be something I'm going to, I'll be messing around with and putting walls in and stuff and making this just look pretty, like, more complete over time. So, they'll be like, I'm not going to be doing too much of the buildy stuff unless I really want to do like live streams on that as well. Maybe so at some point. But right now, you know, at least it's got a floor in it. That's fine. How much we got left up here? Uh, 15. Well, we got like another, I don't know, six hours left in those. That's cool. That's like another live stream. All right. Far out, dude. Yeah, I... I it, I might build. I'm gonna build this one out a little bit more, like my other builds, where it's just a lot more stuff in it that maybe looks a little bit better. So that's fine. That's the plan, at least. We're at five thousand two hundred. You know what? I need five thousand four hundred. Because that's for the small. That's for the small shop. So, and then afterwards, I'm just going to build a twenty thousand block of wood uh, stone. I'd like to see you max out the setup and just how many drills you can get. That's part of the plan for this one. So, I don't know how long it's going to take me. I know I've got to get a roller and just go through the whole snow and just like get rid of it all. The reason why I put a solid floor in here is mainly because I want to put it on stilts and actually have it like an actual rigging all the way down to the base floor. So I want to do that on the other floor as well. So yeah, just little platforms that will all look a bit more, as you look back at it, it's just going to look like an actual scaffold. So, and then downstairs is just going to be like drill, 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 drill. We're just going to go heavy drills. And then different floors of drills. <laughs> and hopefully it works. This doesn't need Wi-Fi. Um... Not that I know of. I'm pretty sure you can play this game offline. Do you know the highest gold bar you've made? Um, the highest gold bar I made broke the clock. Because you could only go up to a certain amount. But, and then all of a sudden the, the code would knacker out. So that's been fun. I will be coming back to YouTube soon. Oh, that's cool, man. I'd say if you ever need it, because I know I know the sort of situation you're in. If you need help, you know where we are. I'm pretty sure that like, other people will help you help you out as well. Without the structural decorations and the floors and the walls, make the mining rigs look so cluster. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's why if you look at my other builds that I've done over the years, they steadily became more actual mines, where I'd actually put 
beams of support and stuff. So this is just base level. Like the t this top part, I might put a roof over top in some parts, like where the workshop is. I might put a roof from here and like L it round over to here sort of thing. And then the rest of it will be exposed or maybe a shanty roof or something like that. And then as we go down, it'll just be more sort of like big thing there. So apparently when, if you forget to empty a bucket of resources and try to hand sort the game, the game engine doesn't like it. Yeah, it, it likes it to a point. So even though Max has upgraded the optimization with um, whatever he's did in the background to actually stop things happening like that, there's still a limit where the game really doesn't like you. So once you go past that limit, it will cause you basically hell. I can show you a screenshot of something I did when I was uh, experimenting with this game. Um, give me a second. So when I was faffing around with this game and like trying to learn like l l the limits and stuff. Um, let me just pull up my thingy here, my screenshots. So what, be preparing for all my videos and stuff, I did a lot of like screenshotting and bits and pieces. So I've got the ore rigs and everything else. Um, I was testing how much I could put onto a conveyor belt. And it was it was quite a lot. So I'd set up the... Where am I up to? Did I do it in here? Oh no, I don't think I did. I didn't screenshot it. Damn it. I actually, I, I screenshotted stuff. I was put, I think I put it into Discord then. Basically, I had, a, I had a massive like conveyor belt full of jewels. And then I exploded it. And it took me... I think it was something stupid like half an hour to clean it up because I just put so much on. I was testing how much it takes to lag the game and I was like, it actually takes quite a lot. Like I was pounding out the that, that drill base with the, um, like when it, well, I've got the like tier two drills, that, well the, the big drills on the bottom and I had like the big harvester up here and I had the conveyor belt of like ring and it, it just glowed for ages and then it started to lag up and then I turned it all off and it was just, oh, and then it just stopped working completely. I was like, cool, I've, I've seemed to have broken the game. I'm going to need 20k. Right. So that's that bit. Actually, you know what? We're going to take the 5,400. We're going to put it next to the shop. Ah, I still got stuff to do. Right. Then we're going to put the stairs in first. So I don't have to keep jumping up and down. I don't want to keep jumping. Jumping sucks. <laughs> but I'm not... A, I have s repeatedly broken my game today by trying to drop a 20-minute bucket from a lava drill into a sorter. Wow. I mean, I, I was doing it where I, I, rep I basically had a drill running for so long I had to repair it four times. And I put that bucket into a, sor into a hand sorter and it worked... But it was a little bit like sticky. It took a long time to like actually sort it through. So I don't know. I think it depends on your computer at that point. Right, one more. I think I literally have just one more. I think I may have bought the perfect amount of stairs. I think we're good. Okay. <coughs> In the basic game, uh, where could I move to what plot? Um, You could move... Well, Ember Cradle is where you start. Depending on how much money you've got is depending where you're going. If you've got about a grand, then you're looking at um, Aquifer, which is just down the road. Well, down the road, over the bridge, down the road a bit more to the left. If you've got more than that and you're up to like seven grand, that's when everything else becomes available. Drek Quarry is 1,200. Um, South Hope is 7,200. 
the ice helm stuff I believe is around 7,000 7, each as well so that's up to you depending on how far you want to travel I'll leave that up to you for choice alright on here it's so much easier it's 5 grand for everything She bought more stairs. Hello! The new DLC is awesome. I like it. It's good. It has got a few niggly bits. I addressed those in a review. Don't worry. It's all pretty positive. Just my own two cents of a couple of things that I don't really like. Apart from that, solid game. And if you like Hydraenea, you'll like the DLC. It's that simple. For your item sorter, do you have the one or no space for each other? Huh? You mean just like for sorting this lot? I have a one space here for between here and here because of the pipe. And then all of this is here and then all of these are separate. Not uploading for a while. Did reach 2,000 subs. Not bad. Is this your tech channel or your gaming channel? Also, how do you set up those auto repair things um, with cables? <coughs> I know, asshole comment. Uh, so here's it. Take a screenshot. So you need your reader and you need your spanner hurler. You build this backwards. So spanner hurler at the bottom. Goes, use a corner. Go up, go across, go down, and then go down. Aim at the filters. Filters must be on the side of a pipe. Now, the, on the side, you want flip-flop cables. You want the flip-flop cable because when the signal here reaches... When this reaches zero, this goes click, and then that goes throw spanner. And then because that spa because it has um, flipped, that will, re that will flip flop that will flip the signal. So that's why that works. And then it, when it hits again, it'll go click, and it'll flip again. And then it'll go click, and it'll flip again. So, yeah, that's what you need. I use self hope as like a real proper base. That's that's like that one's my basic. Can you try to make a video um, about RFC mod shop? I did. Uh, for some reason, it won't show up in my game because it's not the right mod version. Okay, so are you playing this like now? Like you're you you've just loaded up the game now, and it's telling you there's not enough version. Because if that's the case, it's a very, very simple reason of why it's not working. I'm literally waiting for an answer now. One second. Okay. If if the mod shop isn't working on this version of the game, it's a very, very simple reason why it's not working. It's because the version of the game is higher than the version of the mod. All of the mods need all to be updated, so you've got to wait a little while until all the people who make mods update their mods to this version of the game. Because 3.0 is where we're up to now. If the mods were on 2.4, they ain't going to work yet. Does anyone have problems with the game lagging? Not really. A um, couple of things you can do. Uh, go into your settings, turn off motion blur. Motion blur sucks, so I turn it off. So turn off motion blur. Um, you, mine works. What, your mods? On Oh, that's because you, yeah, you're on base game, not the DLC version. They, they, some of them might not work. Be prepared for not working mods. So I turn bloom off and I turn motion blur off. Everything's on high. I actually um, V-sync my computer to 60 FPS. So I don't mess around.
Right, I've got a big stack of floor and I've got nowhere to use it just yet. Right, I'm going to take my stone over to the shop and then we're going to see what else I need because I might be able to cut it up now. Motion bearer bloom are the main friend. Yeah, they're pains in the ass. Like I don't under some games I don't understand why they add motion blur into it. It's not needed. It's crap and it's horrible. Bloom's another one. Bloom is just a painful experience when it comes to some games. I turn those things they're they're the first two things I disappear straight away. I'm like, I'm not having this. Because they are pains in the ass. And they really, they, they, if you're not running like a really high end system that can really handle like bloom and motion blur, they're the two main culprits of like issues that I, I come up with quite a lot. Like, it's a brand new game. Cool. What's wrong with it? Yeah, motion blur. All right, cool. What about bloom? Yes. That's literally my answer to that one because it is a problem. But it is, it's just me. Like, I find them, I find those two things the problem in most games. Right, so I need 400 core stone and 300... I've probably got 300 cloutium. We're probably getting close to 400 core stone. So 300 cloutium and 400 core stone. All right, cool. Okay, thank you. I put it down to low, but it's still lag. It's still lag on me. On oh, no, Strange. Try turning... Um, yeah, I would look in motion blur and um, bloom to start with. And then I would basically uh, V-sync the computer and chuck it on at 60 FPS. They're just, wait, they're just some of the things you can do because it does help. The reason why I do it is because I don't really, I don't really worry about going high frames per second. There's no point for me. It's a, it's a basic game that's cool. I'd rather just have it running like really good. Instead of like 120 FPS. So that's Cloutium. I need that at 300. Oh, that's too far away. We're going to be here for a little while. Oh no, I just picked it up. So we need 400 core stone. Was it 400 core stone or 400 Cloutium now? Now I can't bloody remember. Someone go backwards please. Someone help me. I need help. I can't remember what I need. I believe my PC used to be able to run Hydrogen Air with a 750, uh, 750 tier 1 drills, uh, plonking out dirt into... Yes, yeah, so I, I ran mine at 1,000 drills, and that was sort of doable, and then the lag started kicking in. But it is depending on what you've got running in your um, in your game as well. I mean, if you've got, let's say, 1,000 drills, you're going to have problems. I can't remember what I need. If you jump into the lava, fall at Shattered... Um, at Shattered Breach, you'll hit the skybox. Okay, that sounds cool. Are the new drills in the DLC? Yes. They're lava drills. Those things. This is a new drill. Can someone go? I know it sounds horrible. Can someone go back through my stream quickly and see what I need? How do I make it stop lagging on me? I don't know what you're doing. That's the thing. What what have you got going in? This, what have you built? And are you collecting stuff in pans? And what version of the game are you running? <laughs> Yeah, it might be the resolution. So, so play this with me for a second, right? Just, I don't know if this is going to work for you. I don't know what your computer is. I don't genuinely know. So, resolution, 1920 by 1080. There's no new machines in the basic game. Yes, there is. Oh, not in the base game, no. In the in this version of the game, yes. How much memory do you have? Yeah, so, right. Resolution 1920 by 10, uh, 1920 by 1080. Window. I do full screen mode, and I turn VSync on and limit it to 60 FPS, so I don't have to worry about stuff. Background apps resolution down to seven. Why are you down to 720 by 480? That seems like you've got like an absolute like dog of a computer if you're running that. And then 
Like, resolution scale, I've got 100. Everything's on high. I turn motion blur off, bloom off, and DLSS off. I turn all of this stuff off because I don't bloody need it. That's literally how I run this game. It's better for low PC. I was using a crappy PC before this. And I was running Gold Rush at like 90 frames per second. And that was without a dedicated graphics card. Anybody running a 4 gig card and above should be able to run this game in 1080p at 60 FPS. That's a 4 gig card. It's about, I don't know. What's your graphics card, Henry? If your graphics card's only a 2 gig card, there's your problem. So I don't know. I got just the first drill and a pan, of only, and it only lags when I drive round and the truck in my PC Windows 11. Emma, oh, it's a laptop. That might be part of your problem. Laptops are notoriously bad at running this sort of game. Like, they get hot very quickly. And if that's only an i5, do you know what processor you're running? Like, it's an i5 number. What's the number? Yeah, the resource pileup sucks. I'm wondering his laptop might just be... He says it's a Windows 11, but it could just be an... Oh, pardon me. An older gen laptop, which means that would be the problem. So, okay, so it's an i5 watt. And the i7 part is, it does it come down to what sort of, um, like, generation it is? So if you're running an i5-7-6, if you're running a 7-6-6-D, then that's going to be worse than running a 13th gen. But the main issue is, it's, all right, I, I would put issue number one is down to it's a laptop. So now you have to go through your specs to find out what your laptop's actually running. Because if it's not running a decent graphics card, then that's your problem. The lag comes from that. And if it's an older laptop, and yes, it might be running a Windows 11, but if it's an older laptop, it might not have the actual power to run this game properly. This is the problem with laptops. Then They're not as accessible to upgrade unless you can get a decent one. Yeah, it, this is an interesting one. I like this. This is like tech support. Hey, my job's coming out to haunt me. <laughs> let's go. Let's tr let's try and like let's try and figure out why Henry's computer is not working. I've got time. I've got to get four hundred cores done on three drills. It's going to take a little while. We can do this. I don't want to build my build out anymore. <laughs> It's just too painful. Three hundred and thirty-four. Yeah, <laughs> this is the, this is why I used to. My part of my job was ISP support. Okay, so he's running a tenth generation i five, so that's a little bit older. A sixteen fifty graphics card. If that's a that should be okay as long as it's over four gig. It's an i5-1050... 10500H. That's an integrated graphics. Or is... No, that's just that's just a laptop thing, isn't it? Yeah, so, okay. So that's the laptop i5. It's only got 2.5 gigahertz. It's only 2.5. What's the bare necessity of this game to run? So we need to go to into specs of the game. Uh, store page. Let's go into minimum requirement, shall we? Uh, where are minimum requirements? Why can't I find stuff? Why am I an idiot? Actually, answer all those questions. It's completely fine. 
Uh, single player shared with uh, Xbox controllers, support for other devices. Where did they put it? Oh, there it is. Requires 64 gig, 64 bit processor. Minimum Windows 10, 64 bit processor. You need a minimum of a two. You're running at the top end of your processor. Like, this is a two. You have to have a 2.4 gigahertz CPU, and you're running at 2.5. You are literally just above the line. It needs 8 gig of RAM. Right, so I hope you got eight gig of RAM in your PC in your laptop, and you need, yeah, it needs it, you need a graphics card. You've got a graphics card, but you're running very close. What's the RAM like? I think it's it is eight gig. You're running bare minimum requirements for this game. Like if you ran anything less than what you're running now. Your laptop would not be able to run this. If you want this to run sort of smooth, yeah, but that's the thing. You're only just running the bare minimum. So I'll bring it up on screen, right? This is your laptop. You're running bare minimum. That's why you're having problems. So you need to turn everything down you need to limit your computer to 30 fps you need to turn on vsync you need to stop running anything else in the background and then you might be able to play this game if he's running a 1050 then it's got its own yeah right running the right watching a stream like this is a pain in the ass it eats up, it eats up your ram Yeah, my recommendation would be to stop running everything else in the background. When you're playing the game, don't watch anything on YouTube because it will screw you up even more. Um, turn all your settings down to medium or low. Limit the uh, limit your FPS to 30 and turn on VSync. Turn off Bloom. Turn off DLSS and turn off this. The problem is, is when you start turning off all of this stuff, that's when you realize you need a new computer. Because all of this stuff should work on games, but it doesn't now because games are a little bit more like they need more resources. So yeah, it's it's a yeah. It's basically you need to strangle everything down so it might run on your laptop. But yeah, it's it, it's a pain. This is why, again, laptops are a little. When they say, "Oh, it's a gaming laptop," screw the gaming laptop. Go and be, go and build yourself a mini PC. It's fine. Or go and get a mini PC. They're actually a little bit more reliable than like laptops nowadays. Right. Let me just turn that off, and we'll go back to playing the game. The graphic style looks good in low. Yeah, I mean, it looks all right. Yeah, it's not a demand. It's not a massively demanding game in low either. But yeah, it it does come down to the fact that the game is it's very heavy on resource. Even though it's an indie little game, it's still quite like it, it still strangles PCs to a certain point. Depending, it is depending on what you're running. So, I have a Predator Helios 18 PC run smoothly. Yeah, exactly. So, I ho I hope that helps you, man. And laptops aren't the easiest thing to upgrade. My if it was up to me, the way that I see things. Um, either look into getting a mini PC, which is literally this big. You can, they're smaller than my head. Or get yourself a f small factor PC and build within that. So you get yourself a single fan card. You get yourself like a £500 setup from like PC World or Curry's or whatever your local like electrical shop is. That sort of thing. And look into that. So to put this into perspective, my wife's computer costs about £490. And that actually came with a monitor. It was 450 it came with a monitor, so it's all, you know, it's fairly cheap. We did the whole lot for 450 That, without a graphics card, will run this game. Which is strange, but it does work. Not brilliantly, 
but it works adding like an 80 quid graphics card in it, you can get like a, a six or eight gig card from somewhere off of ebay guarantee we could but we could pull that up a little bit But yeah, so I, I the reason why I have it up on high, but I limit to 60, because I like the way the game looks at 60 FPS, and it doesn't bother me. And I stream it. So on a stream, I don't need to aim for 4K. I don't need to aim for 1440p. There's no bloody point. So it's a stream. No one cares. Am I playing the game? Yes. Am I still talking? Yes. Does the game look all right? Yes. Dude, you're not interrupting. It's completely fine. It's cool. I actually don't mind doing it. I'm more than happy to take time out of my life or my stream or anything I do to try and help someone. I would rather try to help somebody than just ignore you and you'll be sitting there suffering. You're a roadie. Carry my bags. That's fine. But this is, this is the difference between me and other streamers. I am more than happy to stop and try to help. I have a, a, the community that surrounds this channel genuinely are in that same sort of state of mind as well we try to help people because at the end of the day if we can help you you then might understand something so don't worry yourself on that okay it's cool yeah the process is a slow one because it's only it's only 2.5 gigahertz the bare minimum for this game is 2.4 so he's only just hitting just above it yeah, I mean, I, 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 that's what I mean. I'd rather stop everything I do to just try help someone. You know? Because it sucks to be ignored. It sucks to not know the idea for what you're going through. And you could be sitting there for hours just trying to think what the smeg is wrong with it. And then you'll nev you may never have find an answer. So I, I'm okay with it. That's cool. What are we up to? 360. We're so close. So, so close. The 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 Wiven. It is a Wiven, is it? Even? Wiven or Yiven? I can't remember. Yeah, it's better. I mean, if it's if it's 10th gen, it's, it's still a, it's a couple of years old already. Welcome to the roadies. Yeah. Thank you very much for following over on Twitch. Ah, boom, to the rabid potato. Oh, that's a cool name. I like that. <laughs> I can't run the game with a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D and a 3070... Really? How can you not run that? What is wrong with your build? If, you're, if you've got a PC of that spec and you can't run Hydroneer, what the hell? Now I'm I'm curious, what does the game do on that build? Because that's very close to what I'm building in the future. So what does it do? Sounds ominous. Yeah, I don't know. it's very strange. So, Fur Loki over on Twitch. I can't run the game with a Ryzen 5800X 3D and a 3070 Ti and 3.9 and a 3.9 4 terabyte M2 drive. That's so bad. The hard drive is full. Well, there's your problem then. <laughs> It, if 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 the if the hard drive is full, you need to empty your hard drive. <sighs> Got to be something else going on. It's, it's not turned on. No. <laughs> three seven seven. Three seven seven. Are we up to three hundred on this yet? <gasps> Two three nine. We're getting closer. With hard drive is full, you buy a bigger hard drive. Yeah, basically. I just hear the gem crush in the background going. Pss, pss, pss. Yeah, it's because they're constantly working. 
You can get a five terabyte external hard drive. Yeah, you, yeah. Thank you very much for following the pool bloke or that pool bloke. You right, Paul? Cheers very much for following. So I still don't get it. Why am I getting notifications on Twitch? Uh, on Twitch, but I'm not getting them on YouTube. For, like, who's subscribing? That pool bloke has followed. I don't get why is uh, I don't understand. I don't get it. I might. I'm gonna have to like faff around with this. But it's weird that YouTube's not showing me who's subscribing. I'm really, really confused by that. Anyways, I think technical support is over unless anybody else has any other questions. <laughs> School is out. Uh, I know the reason I had chat issues. Oh, you had D that issue. Okay. What's the best way to make a space down at tier 3 if I need a bit of space? Lava truck, dynamite, or how do, we, how do you do it? I use a pickaxe and a rake. You're, it's it's not the best way to do things because it takes so bloody long but if you're looking to just make a little space for a drill that's fine my preferred way of doing it is to go and buy the roller and just obliterate all the snow you're not using on the top just get rid of it all all the way down all the way down to the floor and just kill it all and then you've got a big massive area to build on that that's what I'm that's what I'm going to do because once I get down to tier 3, I can add one more drill to the bunch. And then those drills get like the higher end. It doesn't take as much to get stuff anymore. And then I'm all good. My preferred way to make room is get the nuke. Uh, the roller is pretty cool. If you can roll it down. Also, there's a relic on every single plot of land. And I don't know if it blows up with um, a nuke. So beware. Beware. I found I know where one of the relics are because I found that quite early on. I mean that's on Dawn's Rest, like quite near the boundary. But then I don't know where any of the others are. So that'll be one thing I am actually gonna be doing in this. Um in this like this whole thing. I'm actually gonna be buying every plot of land and then we're just gonna roll them out. How do you get the large forge to work? Threw in my iron and now can't figure out how to get the gold in uh, because it's not gold. What are you building? If you're building a drill, that's not gold. That's Cloutium. So please don't tell me you're building a drill with gold. You have the roller? Excellent. Use that. The relic does get scrapped by the nukes. Yes. Uh, don't blow it up. Then don't blow it up. Yeah. Oh, they don't blow up. Oh, no, I'm getting conflicted messages. I can't remember. If your laptop have extra slots, you can give it an additional RAM. Maybe give a clean. Yeah, cleaning would be a good part as well, actually. Sorry, Dav, but thank you for letting me. No, that's cool, man. Or, oh, yeah, clean out your vents as well, because laptops, are like, they get a lot of, like, groinal hair. <laughs> so your vents could be blocked on the inside. So if you take the back off and find your uh, little fans that are powering things, go, just take out the lint, because it could be causing a problem as well. It did scrap the relic. There you go. Well, I mean, here's the difference between cloutium and gold. I haven't got any gold on these. Damn it. That's the difference. It doesn't exist. But yeah, gold's really, gold stands out quite a lot compared to cloutium. The two that, the two that people screw up quite a lot is cloutium and cause So there was a lot of people when it came to the... Um, when it came to the King's Quest, where people were building like the big sword with a Cloutium hilt, um, core stone handle, and the gold blade, people were building that the round the wrong way. They weren't reading the scroll, so when they went to build it, and like, why doesn't it work? It's like, because that's core stone and not Cloutium. Oh, well, it doesn't say that on the scroll. It does. Oh, well, I didn't read that. Congratulations. So, unfortunately, yeah, they're the two things that look really like the same. Oh, we are so close. Yeah, these two are pretty much like, when it comes to on the side of a, a thing like this, they're okay. Actually, on the models, core stone is really red. On here, gold actually looks like gold. So, well, I'd have to get like the tier 2 stuff out of the shop. Come on, I need one more bit of cloud, like core stone. There's cloutium. There's an, uh, is that cat? I think, no, that's gold, that's gold. That's stone. That's gold. 
We're literally just waiting for Corestone and Cloutian right now. That's it. That's all I'm waiting for. I wonder if I can dig straight onto a conveyor belt. I didn't get a tier 2 shovel, did I? Let's see if we can do this with tier 1 still. Yeah, we can still do this. Funky. I wish my save didn't get deleted. Ah, it's just one of those things. Cloutium is degraded bronze brownish color. Yeah, basically. So I want an icon. That's cla that's cloudium. That's definitely not gold. That's brown. Come on, please. Four hundred. Three nine nine six. We haven't ever had a single bit of gallstone since then. Rubbish. Yeah. Oh no! I thought it was—I thought it was a bit stuck on the conveyor belt. I was just about there. It is. There it is. The last piece of cornerstone. Hallelujah! 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 We're done, cornerstone. And the trucks over there. There we go. Right. I got a cork and I didn't know about oh no, I don't need that, I need the cork. Cork. No, I'm stuck in the bums. Right. Stop leaking. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there is a back I don't know if there, there is yeah, uh, did you check the backup section for the game? When you're on the main menu, when you go to load a game, there's a little checkbox that says like check for backup, like name backups as well. It might be in there. Your game may be saved after all. If not, I mean, it literally takes an hour to get to South Hope from from Ember. Which is pretty close. Right, uh, shops this way for Prince Ali. Shops this way for Prince Ali. Boom, here he comes down the high street, rolling in his lava truck. It's a pulling, lots of pollution, it's a stolen me. Yep, right, cloud in 300. There we go. So here's the difference now, look, core stone, cloudium, different colours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, we just need a 300 bar of cloudium now. There's a load of backups. Yeah, that's every save game you've ever had in this game. <laughs> since, since it started recording backups, that's every one you've ever had. I, I deleted all mine. Like I went, um, yeah. Corestone is red; it, it's really red. But when I was emptying out some of my backup files, I just went jeebus. I had all my builds from like I think it was like two point oh onwards, so it saved every single one. I was like, wow. Yeah, lava doesn't matter. This is a lava truck, man. It's built to last. It's more rugged than a jeep.
Oh yeah. Cloudium. Come on, we need three hundred. Two six six. That'll be like two seventy now. Shame I never picked up a tier two shovel. I know I said I didn't need one, but it would have been better for me right now. I could have just used it and just been like, I need this so I can get through this floor. Do you have the time to listen to me whine? I'm playing Hydroneer all on my own. Building lots of those mechanical drills. Getting ore from bottom of the snow. Sometimes my mind plays tricks on me. How big of a difference is there between the store ver the store version and making your own pick? Um, so the store version is a defect. So, yeah, so you'll see those are the red skulls. It's a slower speed and a slower dig size. I actually have. Give me a second. I can actually show you this. This is something I can actually show you because I already did this experiment and I did this for a video. So I did just save it. That's okay. Um, if I go to test, I'm going to show you the difference between a store-bought one, one that I forged, and one that I didn't forge, and I just forged a basic model. There, this will be the difference. So, that is the broken crappy one, that is the bog standard one, and that's the one with a buff stone in it. Okay, cool. So this crappy one made this hole. The standard one, which is the one without any of the other crappy bits and pieces in it, it's just literally I forged it at the forge, made that hole. This one that has the dig size radius bonus on is this hole. You can see the difference in what you need to be doing when it comes to forging your own stuff. So even if you're forging your own stuff, the size of the circumference of the hole is so much greater. If you're able to get a buff stone in one, it looks so good. Right? Now me personally you don't you want to be doing uh don't the roller just flatten the yeah so if you dig a hole around the back of the back wheels and it will just fall in and it will just drop out the bottom can you use only one buff stone or more you only use one buff stone per um recipe i'm pretty sure i've never used two but i don't think you can i think it just drop it just bounces on the top and i can't ch i can't prove that right now because i haven't got it by the way, yeah, hauler, it's massive. It is a cool toy. I really like it. So, yeah, that's the difference between getting your tools done. They're all broken. The spawn me in Ember Cradle, and there's nothing there. No bucket or shovel. And, ah, oh, that's because they might just be old saves then. So, that means that they were probably done before 1.7. So, that sucks. Sorry. Because when we upgraded to 2.0, the save uh, structure of the game completely changed. Everybody had to start from zero. Everybody. So all my old build, the only way they're accessible is if you can load in 270. I was about right. So I'm looking at about four ounce. I'm looking at about four pounds and nugget coming out the bottom of tier two right now. So that's not bad. Four pounds something. Excuse me. Yeah, when we when we all moved over to 2.0, that was hilarious. Was it? Yeah, it was 2.0 because that's when everything had to change. It was a fun time. 
I laughed my ass off. And I know I'm cruel, but it was true. Because of the amount of whining that went through the Discord. Because they'd rebuilt the whole game, so it all worked. Dark Dragon, welcome to the live stream. How you doing, buddy? Every time I see Core Stone, too, yeah. So, what I found funny about it was every single person in the Discord who didn't understand what just happened moaned. And all you saw was people just like, oh, I can't, I don't want to do all this again. I spent all my time doing this. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, but they've just literally re rebuilt the whole game. And all you have to do is start the game again. Oh, no, what a shame. Well, this is unfair. You just shouldn't have to do this. Blah. It's like, but literally, they just rebuilt the whole game so it works. Oh, yeah, but this. It, you can still play the games on 1.7, you just won't be able to play 2.0. Well, that's unfair, isn't it? Wow, okay, so what is fair? Well, the game should just work. It does. You just have to update to 2.0. Well, that's not... Oh, for God's sake, shut up. It is one of the very few times I've sat there and just gone, my God, how, how much bitching and moaning do people really want to do to better the game? And that, that was it for me. I still enjoy helping the Hydrania community, but that was one of those times I sat there and just went, some people are beyond help. And then I started seeing it in other games, I'm just like, oh dear. <laughs> the world has gone fucking crazy. It's fine. I'm surprised Max uh, hasn't put Dre's name back in the bottom of the lava truck. Anybody can tip that truck as well as Dre now. Anybody. Especially with the fact you can f make the truck fly yourself. Dre is not so special anymore. I mean, the only reason why he was in it at first is because he was flipping it left. Because he didn't understand. Well, I think he did, but he was just being a moron about it. So if you um, hold down space. It should start. Unless, it's, unless he's stopped doing that as well. Yeah. In the old one, it's like, hold down W and push... Uh, dead to a subscribe for one month. Boom to you, sir. Thank you very much. Over on Twitch. You used to hold down W and hold down space. And then it would boing the truck up in here. But you, got, you don't do it with the lava truck, apparently. It's a bit of a shame. It used to work. Fudge and out. Dead tool. Couldn't send bits because I wasn't subscribed. Dude, thank you very much. Most appreciate it. Boom to you, sir. Cheer 200 bits. Cheer 200. Cheer 200. Cheer 200. Cheer 200. Thank you very much, mate. That's an awesome movie. Thank you. Ah, boom. Hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. Oh, did he upgrade the time? Hold on. Right. There we go. The only way is up, baby. For you and me now. Splash. The only way is up. There we go. So yeah, you just basically hold down W and hold down space and your ch and it will just Fly up in the sky. There you go. And that's why Dre's name isn't on the bottom of the truck. Because anybody can do it now. That's why. It's nothing against him. I thought his videos back on the original version of the game were fucking hilarious. Because <laughs> that man couldn't drive this truck for anything. <laughs> oh, it made me laugh. It really did. I, I did find it fun. I, find, and the, the, I would say the, the worst part about being someone who like geeked out into the game to the point I did. I found it funny when I was watching all the bigger YouTubers struggle. And then for me it was just like, 
I don't understand how they're struggling so much. And maybe it's, I think it's just because obviously they don't get as much time to like focus in on the, than I do, you know, because they're like, I need to make this video. I need to do this video. I need to do this video. And they're constantly clicking. They're constantly working. For me, it was like hydroneer, 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 hydroneer. So I had that time. So I found it funny when I was starting to get like Dre. Dre approached me on DMs on Twit and Twitter and he said, dude, can I can I look copy your fishing video so I can make a video? I was like, yeah, cool, do it. So I was like, people that the bigger YouTubers knew who I was at the time and I was still sitting again. You you need to work on the game. And it was it was, it was cool though. It was nice to get that little bit of recognition, you know. It was, it was it was awesome. I've never had that before. So yeah, that that was a big thing. When actually the bigger YouTubers were like coming to me for a question and answer I was like that that's really cool it just meant people actually watched first time name it second time what should I name my new save I reckon you should name it um, footiest Maximus I don't know. Do you pickaxe a bit down and level with roller? Yeah, so uh, going by how I've done it in the past, uh, you basically have the roller out and then just draw a line behind the back wheels um, with a pickaxe. So it goes down one square and then make that bigger. Um, let's see if we can do that now. I'll see if I can do it with you here and then, it, then we'll see. Um, I need test. It's got to have more in it. Stinky Socks, thank you very much for following over on Twitch. Abu. Awesome to have you. Right, so the roller should be in this map. Where's my roller? There's my roller. Is there a pickaxe near? There is a pit. There is a pickaxe. There's my pickaxe. Right, so how this should be done. Oh, bums, 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 bums. Right, let me just knock that down again. Oh, screw you. So, the way that it was explained to me, because I've never really used this before, never really, is the back wheels are in control of the front. So if you lay out the back, you level out the front, and the front then drops down to another layer. And then whilst you're driving around, you basically just follow it around and so on and so forth. If you want to go, if you want to go down another layer. All you have to do is draw that same line around the back of the back wheels again and you can then go down another layer. So it it's just that easy. And that's how you use the roller. And I'd never used the roller up until this point and it, like when Robocourse was like, yeah, just do this. And I'm like, oh my God, that makes my life so much easier. So yeah, that's how you basically get rid of every layer of snow on, on, the, on the game. You basically just plow out a 2x4 grid at the back of the wheels and then reverse into it with the roller down and then it all just takes over. And there you go. So if that helps out for you guys, thank you very much for kicking by. Don't forget to hit the like button. But yeah, that's how it was explained to me. That's how it works and done. Now I don't want to save that because I was messing around with it anyways. But yeah, so... Hopefully that's good. First time fi uh, fishing OD or... Oh, don't, I don't do fishing. I, I've done too much in the fishing game. And I, and to, I, I don't really care about it. But there's just another little... Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to build up a lot. You know, where's my pad and paper? I still like notes. 
Right. Because I think I need to do like a um, a tips video. And I think the roller is a good one. Roller tips video. Anything else? What else do you think I should like? You guys have got a say in this, right? What do you think is a good tip to have in a video? Why am I pinged? I don't know. Something that I may have gone over in my streams and bits and pieces that I've basically just forgotten. You know, that has been. Oh, we got 300. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We got 300. What was the price tag of that monster truck again? Uh, just so I don't have to go back. So my my advice is go to Mott's Island with like twenty thousand guild tokens, or oh, sorry, scout tokens. Right, just take twenty k, just take twenty k, twenty k scout tokens with you, and take about seven thousand in normal money, because the roller is like the roller is money as well. Okay, you need money in the roller. And we're just about to unlock tier 3 shop. <gasps> it's gonna be good. Where's my core stone bar? Oh, there it is. Okay, I almost had a heart attack. That was a lot of work. <laughs> Especially on your three drills. Shove it! There we go. We have unlocked tier 3. We're going down, boys. And girls, if you're there. I don't know, that's probably scary. <laughs> Let's go. Right. Rake, pickaxe. How much are we looking at? 1950? We're oh good. Oh good, oh goody, goody, good. I don't think they care. Right. Anyway, it's two grand. So how much have we got left? We've got 5,700. 5,700. We're doing good. That's not bad considering I only ever started with 9,100 tokens from just doing the dinosaur bones. And I've already got tier 3. Well, how long are we doing? Like This is 4 hours in. So 4 hours into this one. 5 hours to yesterday. 11 hours in and I'm tier 3. Tier 3. How do you use dev tools mod if it works? I don't know. Don't know. I think you need the F7 mod for that. There's a nuke. <sighs> you know what? Oh, it does work. You need. I think you need the F7 mod. So when you push the F7 mod, you can scroll through and find those ones. Wilco, how you doing? Thank you very much. Kick by. So here's here's the big thing, right? Tier two, tier three tools is Cloutium 120, Core Stone 370, and that's for tier three tools, right? This, by the way, you need two of these for later on. Um, let me just run back over to tier two. Tier two. Cloutium and core stone. Right? Tier one. Which is all over. Right. I'm going to get my truck for this one because it's really far away. Oh. The F7 mod need, uh, needed for the dev tool. Yeah, I think so. As far as I can remember. What were the ones... With, what are the tools with gold on them then? Why can I not remember what they are? Unless he changed them. No, there it is. Yeah, tools. So, that's gold. Right? That's gold. That's cloudium. How are people confusing this? Like, uh, literally, that's my question to you all. How are people confusing brown with yellow? Unless you are colorblind and you have my sympathies. 
How are you confusing those three elements? I'll let you answer. I understand if you're colorblind. I really do. So I'm writing things down. Also, bad monitor settings? Maybe, yeah. Also, look, again, no tier number on them. Because there's no reference, my friend. <laughs> Fair enough. But they're very different colors. Max updated the resident here for a cut. Ah, oh, okay. So it's because it's older. Gotcha. Watching you live yesterday got my and uh, my wife back in Dijon here. Oh, cool. Oh, thank you. You know, I'm, I'm glad I'm sort of like some sort of influencer. I'm not, I, I, as I said, I'm not having a go. I just don't, I, I didn't realise, uh, because some people haven't played it for a while, maybe the colours were different. But yeah, that, okay, that's valid. That's fine. I get it. Where do we buy the auto smelter? Um, you go to a conveyor shop. So there's one in the Shattered uh, Breach, uh, Shattered Outpost, sorry, and one in Burville. I'm going to sneeze. I don't want to. <sighs> I'll take on the role of newbie. I haven't played for one year, so I've forgotten a lot. Oh, that's fair. Quote from a TV show. <sighs> hands up, who likes me? Everyone puts their hands down. Well, that's it then. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> you know where that comes from? Good for you. Welcome to being old. We now we have tier three tools. We're good. The young ones, good one. Well done, Aaron. I left my tokens at the shop. That's right. At least I know where they are. Until I come on next time. The hitchhikers? No, it's not hitchhikers. Good. Right. So I'm gonna leave these running. I need to go that way. It was from the young ones. And it's basically where Rick's obsessed with like popularity in the house. And he tries to run a popularity contest. Everyone puts their hands down. And then he goes on a bit of a rant of like when skins and people are going to... Skins and rockers are going to turn up and mourn me. But why are the children crying? Haven't you heard? Rick's dead. The poet of the generation is dead. And then one old lady is going to say... <laughs> Because he'd been like eating laxatives. Yeah. My brain is full of this useless shit, by the way. <laughs> it's just pointless. Right, I think that'll do for now. We need to get our rake now. Hello, old man. How you doing, Death Rider Gaming? 1982. Yeah, it's before my before I was alive. I was brought up on things like the young ones, though. Because my dad basically recorded them all off the TV back in the day. So, yeah. How do you have your gem compressor set up? I'm trying to do mine, but can't figure it out. Um, it's one compressor per uh, thing. One compressor per gem. Huh? 
Bloody hell, Nora. Right, so my compressors are set up like this. You have a gaming channel because of me. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. Oh, the depressed robot, Marvin. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to kill myself. How have we been? Doing all right. Dark Angel Gaming. So we got Dark Angel Gaming, Death Rider Gaming. Oh, we've got like, where's the four, four, where's the four horsemen of the apocalypse? Need me that two and a half K. What is the, I can't even remember what I put down as that two and a half K redeem. Give me a second before I make an ask myself. <laughs> oh, let's have a look. What did I put that down as? Wait, I can't remember nothing. Sing mode. <laughs> Excellent. I don't know how how long I have to keep that for. I never put a time limit in it. It would just be like cheesy pop or metal version. No, that's the thing. So there'd just be a lot of growling. I don't know if that's something people want to watch. Lay this to rest. Console yourself. You're better alone. Destroy yourself so you give the truck. That's the PG version of that song, by the way. And I have to sing that version because of my kids. So in the car, I'm literally filtering myself whilst I'm singing and like doing some song. Because occasionally my MP3 players play songs that I'm like, I really like this song, but then obviously kids in the car, I have to be a bit more like PG. So I have to shout louder than the stereo system. <laughs> it's fine. I can do it. You love the art style of the game. It is pretty niff. I like it. But I like I like the game just because I like the game. I do find it funny, though. There was one guy a while ago. Um, he basically called me a shill because I play this game. And he's all like, oh, that's the sort of attitude I'd expect from somebody who gets paid to do this. You're supposed to do that. I don't get paid to do this. If I, if, I, if I got paid to do this, I wouldn't be complaining too much. Dead Tool, you just... A hundred bits. Everyone gives some hype and love for Dead Tool. Yay! Thank you very much. Doesn't give more channel points, no. Uh, Hail Grogling style. I don't know what you mean. Uh. Are you finally glad to be done uh, with the NDA since the DLC is now fully released? Yeah, man. Um, my, when I put out my first video, that was the day of release. And I was like, oh, yeah. Well, we, we were allowed to release on the second. And, yeah, the first thing I said in that video was, I'm so, I'm glad I'm actually able to like do this now. If I was getting paid to play video games, I would have a different hobby. Yeah, exactly. The, the thing is, if you get paid to do this, I mean, you can turn this into a job. You just have to be good at it, which I'm not, you know. So, if I was getting paid to play this game, like, you know, being a paid shill means that you're basically on the payroll for the company. I've never been on the payroll for any company. I've only ever done one promotional, like, set of videos, and that wasn't even for this game. So, yeah, this person was like, well, you're supposed to put this as a paid advertisement. It's like, literally don't get paid to do this shit. I literally do this off my own back. You know, my kids are in bed. My wife's sitting in the corner. She's fine. She's doing what she wants to do. Streaming is just something I do. It makes a tiny bit of cash, but it's not like anything amazing, you know. But, yeah, I do it because I, I just enjoy playing games. And it gives me something to do. Because, as, as I said, being a full-time carer at home... I don't really have a lot to do outside the house, so it's like it keeps me keeps me popping. Ah, bums! Oh, I just locked myself out of a. Oh, 
I didn't even think that was bloody possible. Damn it. I actually just, like, buried myself. Dead Tool has 25 points. Cool. How much do YouTubers make? Um, number one, depends on what you're doing on YouTube. Number two, depends on how many views you get. Number three, depends on adverts and what they're running. Basically, it just depends on a lot of factors of what you're actually doing on life. So, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, being a gamer sucks, if I'm going to be brutally honest. Being a gamer YouTuber, it's not the greatest. You need, I, I roughly worked it out, in order for me to have like a full-time, like, in order to call this a full-time job on YouTube, I would need, um... 800,000 to a million views a month. Just to put that into perspective of what this channel doesn't get. Okay? And that's just for me. That would be a, a, a an every month income. That's what I would need. And I don't get anywhere near that. So when people say that I'm a paid shill, I wish I was. It, there are times I literally sit here going, yeah, go on then. Pay me. Because when you earn as little as you do on YouTube and you sit there and try to question why you're not making that much money, it basically comes down to if you want to get better at this and you want to make more money, you have to really put the time in. You have to You have to, You have have to. to do it. And that's if you want to do this as a full-time job. So I sort of feel sorry. I think the, the reason I feel sorry for people like the kids of today who their main obsession or their main thing is I want to be a full-time YouTuber. I, you know, they don't want to be like doctors or nurses or anything else. They want to be YouTubers or social media influencers. But at some point, you're going to get to a place where no one else could do it because no one else will be working jobs, which means no one else has got any money, which means no one can do what you want to do in life. And I, I sort of feel like they're all, it's going down a really slippery slope of like, the youth of today not really understanding being a social media influencer or a YouTuber or something isn't just like turning on your camera and becoming like an overnight sensation because it's nowhere near that. And I, I'm coming from somebody who's a little bit older, so I haven't got a lot of as many people appeal. You know, I'm a grumpy old man in comparison to like Mr. Beast. But it's it's one of those things. I... I be, being a social media influencer isn't a job unless you're really, really charismatic and good. And you can sell as well. You you need to learn how to sell. And most people nowadays can't even do basic math. I, you know, I mean, I've seen the I've seen, unfortunately, the the education system of America is going downhill and it doesn't seem to be stopping. You know, they're, they're actually getting to a point where they're not accepting like people with maths as a good thing to get into the next job and it's really weird and then 56 percent of all kids are like oh yeah well, i want to be in it i want to be doing i want to be a youtuber i want to be a streamer like i'm i'm even trying to get my kids not to go down that route my kids are six and eight oh, my, you know one of them's eight this year the other one's six this year and if my kids ever turn around to me and say dad i want to be a youtuber i'm like oh my god really you know i mean i, I don't do it I'm going to try and keep them away from doing this because it's not worth it. Yeah, they're young, but it's it's definitely not a career path for a young kid. And the thing is it's not just the career path, it's the it's the it's the stress that comes with the job because you constantly have to be making content. You're not allowed to just take time off. So that for me that's an advantage because for me I'm at home. I'm a full-time carer. I'm here all the time. And if I'm not needed around the house or I've done all my shit, you know, like I've done the hoovering, I've done the cleaning, I've done the washing, done everything else. If my wife can't do it because of her problems, if I have to do all that, then I have to do all that. That's fine. But it gives me the opportunity to sit and go, okay, I can build, I can make a video today. I can record this day. I could stream for a couple of hours today. And that's fine. But when your job is to do this the whole time, you haven't got a life outside of these four walls. You are now stuck inside constantly. You're not going out. You're going to be checking your phone, trying to get that dopamine rush of that constant click of like acceptance. And this is where I feel social media is killing people. This is just, you're, you're now tuned 
next time if you're in if you're a certain age like if you're between sort of 16 and 25 you're living quite a carefree life you're going out you're having a laugh and all this up well you may be i don't know We're kids nowadays i don't know if you go out at all but what i think it, basically you're now you're being programmed into listening for the dings on your phone for acceptance so if you if you're on social media you know you put up your photo of you standing in your bikini by a palm tree i don't care if you're male or female you can do this either way it doesn't, doesn't bother me but if you're doing that and you're getting ding ding you're going back to check your phone to see that acceptance and feel good about yourself and is that really an influence or is it now you're basically being controlled by social media to have that certain personality and having to be like conditioned into society to the that's how it has to be and for me that's just where it draws the line like i said i'm an older person my t my phone is on constantly do i talk to it no i i'm on a computer and i'm on here because i'm either watching content or i'm making content because this is my part-time hobby job it's like a hobby job i do have to agree with uh, death tour on twitch chat uh it would be a hobby that one enjoys not a full-time job yeah i i would say if this became my full-time job i would probably have to do something else away from this so it would get to a point where i'd have to be out of the house a lot more i wouldn't be able to stay inside It'd be like, okay, I mean, I go to the gym three days a week now, which is good for me. But at the same time, it's like, it gets me out of the house, it gets my brain ticking, I'm all good. But I, f I feel that as, as people are now sort of like more stuck on their phones and stuck on like tablets and, well, basically social media as a whole, it's you lo you're listening for those gratification like symbols of just like media in general now and social life. Your social life, most people's social life are now on the phone. Which isn't a social life. You've now got a... I don't know, what would you call it? Um, it's basically a fake life. You know, you take 300 selfies and pick the fair, the right one. And you're trying to show yourself in a good light. So you never look like you're having a bad day. But inside you're dying. And then you go onto YouTube. You smile for the camera. You get on there and... Hey, uh, how you doing guys? And then after a while you're just sitting there just going... Why the fuck am I bothering? And as I said, I'm an older person and it's just over time you start to see these things when you've been brought up with all of these items to start with and you start to see the downfall of them all. Scapegoat! How you doing, buddy? Gonna be honest, man, I've never had a bigger YouTuber apart from Diesel join my streams before. So thank you very much for kicking by. Because you are a bigger YouTuber than me, so it's fine. How's the stream going? We're doing alright tonight. I, I'm eleven hours into the game and I'm in tier three. It's well, basically I've streamed I streamed Friday and today well, Thursday yeah, hold on. When did I stream? Tuesday was like launch day, and then we're going into here. He a lot. <laughs> my my rant about a YouTuber <laughs> summons a YouTuber. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I'm I've got one more stream left in me this weekend, and that's tomorrow. And then I'm basically taking a week off, which I'm allowed to do because I've got a week's worth of content already pre-scheduled, and then I'm not streaming until next Friday, Saturday now, so it's it's all good. I agree with everything he is saying about social media. Yeah. The thing is, is when you're part of this world, you see the bad sides of it. And then you start to see other social media people go down that. So they're, they're talking the same way, even though they're the influencers who are trying to get other people to do it as well. And it's like, maybe, you know, I mean, I, I, I don't see myself as part of the problem because this isn't my fault. This isn't my job, really. This is basically... It's earning a little bit of extra cash on the side that helps towards bills. You know, that's basically it. Um, I'm not employed by anybody. I'm not self-employed. I'm just here to basically just chill and play games. That's really it. 
but we'll get there. But I, I see, I see it all from a different perspective. I don't tell people to do this as a job. You know, I try and sort of like steer people away from doing this as a job because, yeah, I mean, you're you're part of the mental health world. So th this is a job is a real mental health issue. Like if you if you're constantly like online trying to like you as I said you're trying to get that gratification from people you're trying to like live a fake life away from your actual real life that's going to cause mental issues and then the other problem is is you some, some people aren't built like with thick skin so they can't take the criticism they think they're doing everything right and they're not and then they get bullied and pushed around on it and it's on the same platforms they're trying to promote and that can cause them to spiral into depression and everything else and really screw them up. And it's becoming more and more prevalent in younger people that social media is causing more and more problems with mental health problems. Like, as said, for me, I'm an older person. I can put up with crap. I've got a thicker skin that doesn't... I don't really care about what people think of me because I grew up in the era that if you're going to say anything nasty to me, you might as well say it to my bloody face. Because if you're going to say it to my face, we're going to have a fight. And even if I lose, it's going to happen. But I'm not here to basically, like, you know, if people are going to sit there and just go, well, hybrid, you're a fat bastard. Yeah, I am. And do I really give a shit? Oh, well, yeah, that's why I'm going to a gym. I'm trying to fix myself. It's not going to make me sit in the corner and cry. That's just bloody pointless. You might as well, at that point, pick up your little cuddly and your dummy and go and sit in the corner and cry. And the problem with that is that that mentality is long forgotten on the world of social media. No one knows how to deal with that anymore. So if you don't know how to deal with being pushed around and bullied and everything else, like I never used to when I was a kid, I got picked on in real life. I didn't get picked on on social media because on social media, you just turn those people off. But a lot of people now get affected by what gets said on social media. And social media... And like being an influencer is causing a lot of issues because no one knows how to deal with it anymore. Basically, it's very easy to burn out. You need to learn to separate the two. And if you feel the need to argue with the comment section, you won't uh, last long on YouTube. Yeah, uh, the only reason I, I made a video the other day arguing with a comment section because I am that dickhead who will call people out. That's why I did it in the first place. I'm sick and tired of seeing toxicity and negativity around certain things, so I called people out about it. But I'm more I, I, I can I can handle myself on that. And if people come back at me and have a go at me for my opinion, that's then that's their fault. Go and die on a different hill. Doesn't bother me. But yeah, there's a lot of people who don't get it anymore. And it, it unfortunately it is the younger generation who are just having more and more of an issue with this. And it's not, it's not a thing that a lot of people focus on. Most people in the social media world focus on getting views and having that like, oh, look, people love me. Whereas most people probably just think you're a bit of a dickhead and we only come on here to like your picture and then we scroll off after five seconds because we've given up caring. And then people go, oh, well, my picture didn't get as many likes as it did yesterday. Well, that's a shame. Maybe you've just, you've got ugly or you've, you're not pretty enough anymore. Your hair was a different colour. People don't like that colour anymore. And then they go through that whole like, oh no, my life's coming to an end sort of thing. And it's like, no, you just, you're, you're focusing on the wrong things in life. You want to focus on the real things in life, like people and generally having them around you and conversation and actually talking to people in real life, face to face. There's a whole world outside. Go and explore it. Be happy. I've already li I've already lived that part of my life. I spent I spent a good 10, 15 years of my life going out, getting drunk, hanging around with people, and genuinely just living that life, which was fun for me. That's how I wanted to live, and I experienced it. And I've got stories, and most of you have heard some of them. Learn to please yourself first. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I think the the more and more people focus on like that social media personality, the more you lose touch with real life. And I I'm I, I went through that all myself as well. 
and I've been through that. And I would say nowadays I'm a bit more of a fixed human. But I had to go through all that crap to realise what the fuck I was doing to myself and what I was doing to the people around me. But apart from that, I'm sort of... I know the limitation now. I know where I'm supposed to be. And it wouldn't have happened without me going down that whole, like, that whole social media thing. But people sometimes don't see what they're doing to others. Love car games and simulation games. Yeah, that's, you're the person who got me into my garage, mate. I saw your video of it, and then you were in the game. I was like, it's game, go! <laughs> Escapes in the game I'm playing, Jeebus. I thought it was cool. Because I'd never heard of my garage until I saw your video of it. So, yeah. You're part, you're the, unfortunately, you're the reason why I bought the game. It's your fault, Scape. I want a refund. I do like going down the philosophical route of social media sometimes. I'll draw up the refund paper. Thanks, mate. <laughs> My drills are still running, which is amazing. This is what I like about this version of the game. I can sit here and do this sort of thing and not worry that something's about to break because of what I've set up in this. And it's like, okay, that's cool. That's done. And because we're down this far now, like, yeah. So what I will probably do... I want to say tomorrow... And I'm not sure like, if I'm going to do it during the day or during a stream. I haven't figured that bit out yet. What I want to do is I want to um, op open up a bigger room, maybe, and bring some drills in and stuff. But I'd have to bring down the conveyor belts and everything first, so I have to come down this way. Um, I'm trying to think. I think the staircase is going to have to go through this wall. Because this bit's going to be for um, the pipes and the um, lava. So I'll fold it underneath. So what I will do is... No, go down. Um, I will bury this line into the floor so I can actually walk over the top of it and then we can be alright. Will you be doing the big drills and harvester tomorrow? No, because I need the hauler first and the hauler I need a ship token. I can go and get the ship token, yes, but then I need tokens. So we need to actually like get stuff for people. I need to build stuff for people. So yeah, that's that's the next major thing that I need to do. And then it's just basically step by step, just get through it all. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to Hybrid if you aren't already. Ah, it's, it's anybody's business. If you're in this stream and you're talking, it is your business to like have that chat. Say what you like. This is like a freedom stream. <laughs> But yeah, definitely. Be, there'll be one tomorrow, and then yeah, it's it's a uh, it's been a long couple of weeks. Like for getting all the videos done and stuff, I'm taking I'm taking a, a week out from like looking at an editing screen. I might play. I might actually just play a game and not have to worry too much. Hi, Brazil. Question: The first plot, Dawn Rest. How deep does it go? Five uh, five squares. Will a tier, yeah, a tier one will be there. It'll be fine. Basically, Dawn Rest is Ember Cradle. You can get you get down five squares. Uh, if you put your drills two squares down, you'll get Cloudium. If you fire your drills into a pan of lava, instead of just doing it yourself, you'll get Core Stone and Cloudium out of those as well. So you don't even have to worry about it. Right. 
think we made my floor. We're good. Now, unfortunately, it's a bit low. It makes me feel a little bit like I'm too tall. So, we're going to have to rip the roof off a bit. Is right. that going to be high enough? No, one more. And there we go. Is that why I'm not getting any more clout? Yeah, probably. Basically, your cloutium, you need you your drills need to be mounted two below. Uh, bought the DLC myself. Gonna play tonight. Oh, I enjoy it, man. So my advice, and this is coming from me, so you take it with a grain of salt if you wish. Just enjoy the game. All right. Don't don't care about what people say or what they think about this. Enjoy it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. That's fair. And that's that's literally my, my own perspective on this. If you liked Hydraneer and you played it because you enjoyed the game, you'll be fine. If you played this game as a... You played the game and you were, oh, well, I don't know, but then I'll buy the DLC just to see if it's all right, you're probably not going to like this. All right? So if you're playing this game, you're playing it because you enjoy it. If you're playing the DLC... You're playing it because you enjoyed the base game. That's literally it. Everything else, or anybody else that says anything about the game, it's like, okay, cool. Right? That's their opinion, your opinion, whatever. Play it because you want to. Don't play it because other people say yes or no. My review of this game um, will literally come out and it says my true feelings about it all. Generally, I'll give you a rundown quick now. I gave it a score out of, for me it's an 8 out of 10 there are things in this game that I go into I talk about in my review that I don't see the point of owning and I don't see the point of having in the game but for anybody who liked the original base game you'll be okay with this if you think that if you if you weren't sure of the base game you're not going to be sure of this and if you don't mind doing the extra legwork for some things in this game, then you'll be fine. Me personally, the, the extra steps in the game, I like it. It's alright. It adds a bit more pace to the game for me. I find that this game is a mix of puzzle game and digging game. Trying to get... Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's basically... you know, Do you remember the, like, the Windows game, Pipe It? Where you just had to make pipes and stuff. That's literally this game. <laughs> it's that. It's this game mixed with a little bit of like Gold Rush. How about the gold? Yeah, oh, man, that's what I made that video about. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's just me angry at the rest of the talks. So there's reasons behind it. So mainly it comes down to Discovery's uh, contract running out. So they basically rebranded the game. Um, they're adding a couple of bits and pieces like, like DLC to the game that needs to be done so they can almost finish the title now. Um, I've In my head, I'd like to see a Gold Rush 2, but it's not going to be called Gold Rush 2, it's going to be Gold Mining Simulator 2. I'd like to see it because then they might add multiplayer, you know, because people keep bitching and moaning about multiplayer not being in the game, but, you know, devs basically said they're not doing it. But the rebrand itself was... It was basically, it had to be done. So, I'm alright with it. I don't care. It's not my company. I'll carry on playing it when I feel like it. You gotta think, Ross. I'm a very, very small pebble in the rear, in the beach. Right? Barely anyone has seen it. Compared to, like, you know, 100,000 video views, that sort of thing. I'm a very small drop in the ocean when it comes to my vids. Skate probably has never seen my stuff. You can see the list of users that supported the most. Oh, cool. I'm excited to see it get proper updates. Yeah, same. I, 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 I would like to see the game working better. You know, so less stuttering in certain places. Um, as long as they don't touch the actual loop of the game where you do this, this, this and this. Wow, oh, cheers, man. Yeah, I don't like... Yeah, the toxicity in some communities pisses me off. <laughs> I 
It's midnight. Let me get this room finished. I'm just raising the roof. And then I'll be coming off. Just need to get it all straightened up. So what I'll do tomorrow in my spare time, I'll bring the pipes down to here, we'll get this done, and then it's just start making stuff for missions and being alright, basically. Huh? Some new machines would be cool, yeah. Yeah, to, if if the toxicity, the as said as I said in that video, the problem with like the gold rush toxicity is that's all these new devs have ever seen, and it's just not cool. I don't like it, and that's why I that's why I made the video in the first place. I don't like the fact that people just they stick their noses in where they don't need to anymore. If you don't like the game, don't fucking play it. Don't do don't do anything like that. It's not worth it. Just go off and do you. Be happy and you know if you if you're not liking the direction of something going on, then maybe the game's not for you anymore. I've, I've had plenty of things like that, and it's like okay, cool. I'm I'm not going to be as excited as I was. Right, we'll turn that off. This will be my last load coming up. I hope they make the crane thing in the gold rush uh, be a bit higher so I don't have to bump, snap the... Nah, the, you, at that point what you would do is um, you just sit there and quite happily just use longer cables. That's all you got to do. Just go onto a higher la piece of land and drop them down. And there we go. If you need anything, escape. If you need any help, I've got videos on my channel. Or you know where I am on Discord. You can DM me. I think you'll be alright though. I think you're competent. Yeah. I think you're in the same boat as me. <laughs> well, yeah. Just so I don't waste my spanners anymore. Spanners. I said spanners. Because I've got to fill those up tomorrow. Right. On that note, guys. Thank you very much for kicking by. This has been Hybrid Steel. Uh, competent. Yeah, you, you, you're you okay. <laughs> Anyways. Hold on. Do you think they were added a feature to the rake and drag the smooth? No, they won't do that. Nah, it'd be right. Anyways. Thank you very much for kicking by. Thank you very much for just sort of like stumbling by this channel or if you've subscribed and you've helped with the channel. Thank you very much. It's awesome to have you here. And I will see you tomorrow. I've got one more stream for the weekend and then I'm having some time away from Hydroneer because, yeah, I, I, I need to stop playing this for a minute. So until my next video live stream or whatever, thank you very much for kicking by. I've been Hybrid Steel and I'll see you later. I'm going to say peace out, have fun, enjoy everything you guys do and have a great rest of your weekend if I don't see you before. A-boom! Fist bump to you.